being thrust into isolation last round due to uh, close contact. And here we are, as I welcome my usual partner in uh, crime, Benny Goldfridge, parked for the first time at the brand spanking new call with the wild super trailer down here at Aztec Oval in Bridgewater. Great to see you, Benny, and uh, again to be able to yeah. bring the vibe of the game to the people. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Pistols, lovely conditions here from Aztec Oval. Blue skies, both sides currently out in the ground at the moment doing their warm-ups. Uh, Mount Lofty, to, well, we've got to get our ends right today. So what, what end is Mount Lofty currently warming up to? Ah, uh, That would be the former green shed end. Everyone That's knows it. it's the green shed end. Yes. And, of course, you've got the cliff end. The I Raiders suppose. warming up towards the, the uh, ball court yep. end. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, our man Jaden J. Hill can't be here today, uh, Pistols, but I have got his stats that matter, ah, and uh, I will deliver them at some stage Beautiful. Uh, during and, pre-match. And, of course, we must thank very much the boss man, John Douglas, and his Sports Interactive team for getting the trailer organised. Apparently, Benny, it already turned a few heads yeah. as it made the journey down from the uh, Riverland through the Mallee en route to today, but... Uh, Talking about heads, there are a couple of rough nuts uh, involved in a wonderful rap job here. Bit of a Picasso on wheels, I'd suggest. No, I love it. We've just got to uh, maybe do a bit of interior work. Some uh, Yes, some we might get our interior or something decorator. In uh, love it. Perhaps our... Uh, and we've got a, a special um, assistant today. Yeah, Pistols. production assistant. Uh, gorgeous guy is helping us out this afternoon. Scoring. Scoring. So, Sensational. Uh, lovely to see her. So uh, when it comes to being down here at Bridgewater... Oh, um, yep. Just hang on. Uh, okay. One of our favourite venues, the close confines of the contest. Yes. The crowd involvement. Yes. The flying waters of Cox Creek. The parade of our usual dogs of the day along mm -hmm. Heisen Trail. And uh, always memorable to visit. And it's capped off when we get to talk to this man. Yes. Long-serving Raiders player and now in his sixth year as club president. Uh, great to welcome uh, into the call of the while once again, Simon Bryars. Uh, Squiz man. Welcome. Uh, well palatial surroundings this year pistols yeah things are moving up for you mate <laughs> well well yeah, that's right now uh, simon as we look out here a beautiful day for footy for the derby um just take us through some of the uh, off-season happenings down at the radar one thing i noticed and uh, i think there was a story in the mount Barker curry about the ground surface down here mate absolutely sensational just tell us about all that yeah yeah so there's been a bit going on there's always happening down here with well, Andrew Fraser they call it involved. Spark Park, mate. Yeah, so that, that's right, mate. The, uh, the volunteer of the century, you know. Yes. Al he's always making things happen down here. Um, no, so, um, yeah, a few things have happened. Um, great to see we've had some new toilets there, courtesy oh, of, of the course. council. They're fantastic. Yep. Um, we've had a new retaining wall down the, the side here. Um, ah. New okay. goalposts. Where yes. Everyone's forgotten how small the old ones really Did were. They actually they line up. They, they do, yeah. A bit like Prospect Oval. We actually made said. the oval slightly longer as well by about a metre somehow. But we, you see, we've moved them over a bit down the um, yeah the cricket net end. They're they're one one goal width over from where they were. So they used to be more into the right hand pocket there. Okay. Yeah. So where that kid's standing. Because you actually have a shot at goal and a beer at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you got so, plenty of advice from the uh, knowledgeable crowd. Uh, I should say we've already seen probably two contenders for best goal so far with the new post, Charlie Burney, check side. Did you see that one in the twos? Uh, no. The first mate, quarter, yeah. Sorry. And then same quarter, had a shot from the other side, banana, goal. So, yeah, it was a great set of goals there. But, yeah. So, am I right? Um, side that would make this pocket as you kick towards the green shed end uh, a bit deeper. Yeah, it's just the goals have moved it, over. Yeah, 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 it, yeah, it has. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. So they do align a lot better. But yeah, the probably the main thing, obviously, is the um, drainage works, and that was thanks to the council who put in a fair bit of money, and also Andrew Fraser put in a fair bit of his own time yeah. and money as well, and all the volunteers that helped. But um, so basically, yeah. you just put a lot of drainage through there. Uh, yeah, yeah. So just, you can you can see the lines here. Yeah, still, still um, there. Yeah, running along that way, and then they join up to a main drain that heads over to that light tower over by the creek there so, so, so they, it all flows down there and then across into the cox creek yeah in, yeah so um yeah and the grass has come back pretty well but yeah there's been a bit of sinkage where the yeah the drains are but that always happens i suppose and yeah. so next year you know we'll top dress it again and yeah, it'll be cherry right mate so and certainly yeah. uh well 
apart from some of our games of yesteryear, mate, which you yourself may have well participated in your illustrious career, um, yeah, mud pies. Oh, exactly. And not just yeah. for the visitors, you guys had to put up with it uh, two oh. nights a week at training as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, things have come a long way from then. Um, yeah. You yeah. Know, the lights, we've got much yeah. better lights now, grass. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, no, it's pretty pretty good surface. I mean, we can never make the oval any bigger, you know, but no. um, that's kind of, like you said, part of the, the beauty of it, the village green, isn't it? The, well, it you is, know, it's a little little coliseum down here, isn't it? it it's is, good for viewing. It is and, iconic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows Bridgewater Oval. Exactly. Good or yeah. bad sort yeah. of situation. Hey, um, now, second year back in Div 1, um, it was always during your presidency after you won that flag, I think, even though you, you weren't the president, John Schneemilch was, yep. but it was always a plan for the Bridgewater Raiders to get, yeah. the Wellington Raiders to get back in Div 1. Yeah. So second year, uh, yeah. again, you're a bit better prepared than last year? Or oh, look, it was lessons a... Lessons learnt? Yeah, it was a, you know, it was a big effort just getting back in in the first place and getting, you know, things prepared. And uh, we did a lot of things, new jumpers and yeah, all sorts of things that. off the field. And, you know, we sort of wanted to come in with a bit of a new identity. Um, mm. And then... Yeah, we had the the sort of Port Power looking jumper since about 2012, I think it yes. was. Um, yep. And then, you know, a lot of guys liked the original jumper that we had back in their Div 1 days. The, um, you know, the light blue, the light with, the, blue with the stripes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, so we went for a, a bit of a, uh, a combo of that, the Dark Raiders look here, yep. um, which they're playing in today. But we've also got a clash strip now as well which is a light, yeah, light yeah we've worn that the first couple of rounds and that's been great because Harndorf and Uradler got quite dark jumpers and um I, yeah and that's more back to the I, old original was, one that you would have been used to pistols I think yeah it's very yeah. good that you actually wore your away strip on your home game yeah well you know <laughs> just helping up well, helping other clubs they're out. more called clash strips these days i think pistols aren't they you know yeah but how do you uh, clash when it's your home game yeah well i don't think you're able to have one so well. yeah um yeah so anyway but yeah, i suppose getting back onto the the whole div <laughs> one thing you know it's uh <laughs> we digress um yeah it's it's a big move um obviously the colts has been a challenge for us and i think you know we'll, we'll probably chat about colts maybe but um i think it's a getting to be a bit of a challenge for a lot of clubs um especially with that sort of under 18 age group um and then yeah getting you know two competitive sides on the park um yeah so, it's um, uh, yeah and so what you said about uh challenges mate yeah. you've actually had the situation with COVID I believe the last game which was your home game and you had what 14 <laughs> 15 out and uh your yeah. good self was yeah. unavailable and volunteers yeah. so yeah how difficult it's been to manage it's bad enough anyway isn't it with a footy club yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, extra burden of it, that. It did, you know. It really tested us. I mean, if a couple more volunteers went down, we were probably at the point of, you know, could we even host the the game? You know, you, you got five games and start at, you know, yeah. eight thirty in the yeah. morning and yeah. go all the way through to five o'clock. So, um, yeah, that was that was tough. But you know, it was fantastic because a lot of people stood up and filled it in roles, and we managed to still get the two teams on the park. Um, a lot of guys played. You know, made A grade debuts and the B's you know, guys that hadn't played for a long time filled in and so yeah, it was a good club effort to make the day happen and still have a successful day from what I hear, you know, they had a reasonable crowd down here and it was a good atmosphere and competitive games and you know, your Raidler are obviously too good in the A's and B's but um, yeah, well, I mean we were a bit undermanned but yeah, they had a crack so. Bit of a good, good segue there, Squiz. Mm. Um, as you said, fielding the five teams, so you've actually obviously come on board once again with uh, Iron Bank to fill in the juniors. Yep. How important is that for the club? And I know so yeah. your junior academy's going all right. Yeah, yeah, look, I mean, you know. So down the track, you hopefully will be able to field them in your own. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's a work in progress to get those numbers back up. You know, we... Um, the, the sort of nut, the kids dropped off a bit when we were in Div 2, you know, for various reasons. And, um, yeah, coming back into Div 1, we wanted to ensure that we had those three teams. That's obviously part of the requirements. And, um, you know, not with there not being no Div 2 comp, um, especially for 16s and 18s, it was a, you know, an Iron Bank kids were looking for somewhere to play. So it was a good, um, you know, fit, basically. They're not far up the road, you know, 10 minutes away. Mm. So, mm. um and they're similar sort of a club to us in terms of their volunteers and their sort of, um, I suppose, 
feel of the club and community and things like that. So, yeah, it's been a good good fit. Uh, probably drawing back to the fact of uh, your improvement the oval surface because mm. obviously the extra use because I suppose there were times in Div 2 where you played clubs, uh, say a home game, you didn't have all the, all the games mm. because clubs... As we know, the plight of Division Two clubs, which would have been one of the reasons I suppose you come up to Div One, because all the kids get a game of footy. Yeah. But also this year, mate, the innovation of uh, under fourteen girls team—that's very exciting. Yeah, yeah, Bridget. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, we, you probably know we had a women's team yeah, a originally. couple of years yeah. ago. We, we were one of the first actually, and they played down in the, yes. the Sanford Women's. Um, but that was kind of you know a, a group of girls that came together older girls that had played netball or mm. whatever and mm. things like that and you know injuries started setting in and that sort of fell away um but i think you know if you can get girls from a younger age and, and that's the way it'll be sustainable same as your a grade and b grade and men's you know if you get them coming through the juniors and then um i think you know hopefully we'll have a senior team in years to come yeah, yeah. absolutely well as a the plight of uh, Division Two football this year, only an under fourteen competition. I think mm. six teams, three of them are for Div, Div One surplus. That's the future of your club, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And it just makes you wonder for you know size like Mackey and Torrens Valley and Gabaraka yeah. and yeah. Is yeah, that one of the reasons for the idea to come up for Bridgewater? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, um, yeah. That the lack of competition in Div 2 was, was hurting us. You know, kids were leaving. Mm. Um, mm. And mm. so, really, that that was, uh, you know, one of the big factors to come back up. Um, because, yeah, you, you need those kids coming through. You know, if you look at our playing side today, you know, we'll probably talk about some of the players, but obviously there's some guys from other clubs. But, you know, I'd like to think probably the majority of players in that side are juniors that have come through our system. So Absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, as you alluded to, mate, um, would you able to give us a bit of a hand with selection that's uh, happened here today for the Bridgewater Raiders? Who's in, who's out? Well, I'm not entirely sure, actually, Pistols. No, I'm, just trying, few... I'm just trying to look yeah. at the side warming up over here. Yeah. There's a few numbers that we're not sure of. Yeah, there's probably... A... I'll get the team sheet to you before the start yeah. of the game. Well, but, um... prob- that'd probably be easy for you. Yeah, easy um, but no, you. no, no, there's a, there's a couple of interesting... Ones that are playing in the Bs that I didn't expect. Um, and I think, yeah, Sam Miles has gone f- for a bit of youth. You know, the, some youngsters yep. in the A's there, yep. um, which is good. Um, so we had, we've had we had a couple of really good um, A-grade debuts in the last two weeks from Ty- Tyler um, Borneman and Taron Sanderson. He played against Uradal last week and, and kicked four goals. Wow. And they're both still under-18 players. So that's exciting for us. Um, and then yeah, there's a couple of other ones. I think Darcy Joseph's playing A grade again today, um, and um, yeah, a couple of couple and, of uh, the more <coughs> guys that you know you'd know that yes, are playing just, the twos. Yeah, just saw so. before uh, Sam Fatulis out there. Yeah. Obviously in the air and need. That's what footy's all about, I suppose. Community, they come back and uh, help you out. Yeah. And of course, uh, the great man Wins Sandico. We can see him warming up. Uh, famous number. Well. It's wearing 21, I think, Johnny McDonald. Oh, I don't think that would be happening. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, so, yeah, Jack, I mean, you probably, you may know, he was a Bridgewater junior originally. Um, mm. Oh, and, yeah. Like, and then he uh, went over to Lofty and then had, good, a, mate, had he's, a, uh, a stint at Ice Bank. He likes yeah. to share the love around uh, Weens because I think he's, uh, this is his third club in three years. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, he was a he was a bit of a late starter <laughs> yes, for us yes, this season, yeah. obviously. But yeah, he's been injected into the team today. Yep. Um, and also, one that you'd you'd love is uh, Max Wakefield is back. Maxie Wakefield, yep. well, yes, is so, going to uh, test to. Uh, we saw a lot of him. In fact, we called in the uh, the grand final. If you remember the yep. famous twenty sixteen, uh, if you're a Raider, get around them. Yep. Uh, victory. <laughs> Uh, Craig Evans, the hero. Um, yep. Yeah, because Max had a very good season that year. He did. Like, yeah. yeah. Very good he football. probably kicked 40 or 50 goals, I he reckon, did. that year. Yeah. Nah. Um, played, um, he has played in the state country yeah. Yeah. championships, I yes. reckon. Yep. Yeah, he did. Um, represented the zone there. So, now, yeah, so he's back. So that's great. So, yeah, it's a bit of a different feel to it today. We're interested to know the process. Uh, obviously, last year, all the excitement coming into Div 1. Mm. Had a very good start, five wins, I think, in the first five rounds. Yep. How easy is this competition? Yeah. 
uh, perhaps struggled through injury and depth for the rest of the year. Uh, so what's been the approach this year by the, the coach, by Miles? Because last, week, last year's first coaching stint, so yep. there's plenty of excitement. Yep. And also for the club. Uh, so the season under the belt, uh, his approach, know where we've got to get better, etc. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you know, try and build a bit of depth into the list as well. Um, you know, that, that probably hurt us a bit at times. Mm. Um, mm. You're only as good as your bottom six. And, well. you know, so we've worked on recruiting some guys and um, and the Bs, have, you know, they've got a lot more depth this year as well. Got a lot of guys come back. Um, some junior guys have come up um, as well from the 18s. Yep. Um, and, yeah, we've, yeah, I mean, I've, we've probably been a bit, Unfortunate, to be honest, the first couple of rounds. I mean, we played hand off, hand off under yeah. lights, and that was a tough, well, the tough game. Great finalists from yeah, last exactly, year, yeah. pretty hard. Um, and then there yeah, you Radler, and yeah, we were pretty much decimated by COVID I that the round. Benefit so. is you get him out the way early, Squiz. Possibly, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're not panicking. I mean, it's two games in a really long season, so um, and we played the two, the two grand finalists, so. Um. Well, unfortunately, uh, as you said, the depth, unfortunately, looks like uh, at the moment, um, yeah, Lofty might have a little bit more depth in the B grade today. And currently 13-14 to 6-5. I think the Raiders were early in charge. but uh, Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it looks like we've just fallen away a bit here. But I think, yeah, I think the competition's probably improved, you know, in A's and B's across most clubs this year. So I think it's probably going to be even tougher, to be honest. Mm. Um, I don't know what your thoughts are on that. You've You've already seen a couple of rounds, and um, you'd have your finger on the pulse pistols. Oh, yeah, yeah. as you said, a, yeah. a good thing, a lot of young, good kids coming out to play footy, uh, yeah. getting promoted, but then also we have the situation where uh, a lot of guys who've been very good A-grade footballers, as we mentioned, Sammy Fatulis, uh, mm. I think Will Healy's out there at the moment, yeah. Jackie Beaverlander, yeah. Simon Noonan's another one, Paul Richards for a couple of years, uh, guys who dropped back and, um, yeah, just had that experience mm. and guiding hands for the youngsters coming through so yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. reserves football and these days I think a lot of the B grade format style is based around what the A grade do so those who get promoted automatically step into the system and yeah, what, yeah. What, what's required so yeah, yeah. yeah. but um, so a beautiful day today I think last year because it was a cutting cup game yeah. uh, obviously not this time around but still the crowd here today you're quite happy with that yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's not going to be like it was last year, and I think we're, no. we're competing with a Crows game on TV, and also um, Port Power at Adelaide Oval at four o'clock. So that doesn't yeah. help, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, hopefully we'll get a reasonable crowd, and it'll be a competitive game. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. And, and a big uh, bonus for the club, and it must have been a really big thrill um, for you know AFL football. It's always looked on at the elite what kids aspire to so it must have been really good feeling for the people who were involved with him but also generally for the Raiders football club to have a guy win an A grade uh, AFL premiership last year of course we're talking about Tommy Sparrow oh yeah that was just awesome and of course you it? had yeah. him at your presentation yeah 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 yeah, yeah. No, it was still pretty special really um, yeah it probably uh, doesn't happen to too many country clubs to have a, mm. a kid come through and then go on and play in an AFL premiership yeah um and I think he, he's just getting better all the time as well. Um, yep. You know, he's in a, he's obviously in a good team, you know, and he's uh, playing second fiddle to guys like Petrarca and Viney and these guys, but he's he's just looks like he's improving all the time. And um, I think, you know, in a few years' time, he, he's going to be one of the stars in the team, I reckon. Yeah, yeah when you look at the, the quality of the Demons team, and mm. he's just slotted in. He's sort of like a... A guy, what's his second, third year, he gets some very big responsibilities. For, yeah, yeah, For yeah, a young man, yeah, you know, yeah. in, in the team. And, um, yeah, I mean, he never stops trying. I mean, that's what he was like as a kid, you know. He just work, yeah. work ethic was just, you know, yeah. just hungry, ran around all day, just hunting the ball, doing whatever. And yeah. you see at Melbourne, he just does the team things all the time, um, he, which is uh, what they love, obviously bit more hard work on the track than his illustrious father, because Michael, 300 gamer. Yep. Spoggy, just tell us uh, about Spoggy's ability, or obviously, uh, oh. Tommy's mum was a good player. <laughs> <laughs> no, Spoggy, he was an underrated footballer. He, he was. was a, he was a good full back. He was. He was a, you know, a full back of the decade, you know. Yeah. Um, and yeah. um, 
Yeah, he was hard and just um, didn't kick too many goals in his career. But no, uh, he did tell us know. he's uh, not renowned for his goal kicking no. in Italy. But, but um, yeah, just you couldn't ask for a, a a tougher, more determined bloke, and that's probably where Tommy gets a bit of that from yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Uh, Virtually in the dying uh, minutes of the game here, Lofty 14-14 leading the Raiders 6-5 in the reserves game here and called a wild uh, Hills footy action. Uh, just for your own personal views, challenges that the Hills Football League faces and you as a president and your club sort of, uh, yeah, identify that needs for the general competition. Oh, I think I touched on it before, juniors. but I think the juniors, yeah, it's just, um, it's really hard. I mean, we've always had really good Moddy's numbers, Auskick, Mm. under 14s and they get to that 15 16 years of age and they just going off and doing other things and i think it's uh yeah it's it's really hard to and it's not um, isolated to the bridgewater college of oh, Footy club is it no no that's it's what i'm saying in it's, general it's in general club. you know and um you know that it's okay for the bigger clubs because they're always going to have enough kids mm. um you know but um I think for the smaller clubs, and that's what we've seen, you know, with those Div 2 clubs where it's just eventually gets to a point and it just evaporates and then you don't have a, a squad anymore. So I think that's that's a challenge for sure. Um, and I think, you know, volunteerism is, is always an ongoing mm. challenge. Just mm. there's more things to do now around football. There's just, um, uh, uh, yeah, it just seems to be a more complicated space than it used to was back when we played pistols yeah, you yeah, know well, yeah. um you got to have someone to do this someone to do that you know and covid hasn't helped the last couple of years <laughs> covid marshals and all that just another layer of complexity to it so yeah the volunteer side i think yeah yeah so just quickly as the final sirens go on here mount loft having a good win in the reserves 14 14 to 6 6 um the program for the rest of the season uh squeeze you play what four more games here and then go down to Callington for the yeah, second well, half? Or? as you know, this one was supposed to be at Mount Lofty, but yeah, it got switched. Yeah, um, yeah. So we've ended up... So now, this game initially been played down at Callington, is that what you're saying? No, no, no. It this, would have been scheduled here. Yep. No, this game was scheduled at Mount Yeah, Heathfield. I know, but yeah, they've yeah. swapped the games. But yeah, so that... So the second half of the year would have been the... No, we were going to play six here and three right at Callington, yep. and now it's seven and two. So, okay, yep. yeah, it's... Oh, well. Bit of a weird thing, but yeah, yep. I mean, last year we played three here and six at Callington. Yep. Um, so, yeah. Well, it's good to see you back mm. at the spiritual home. We all love it here, as we said. Mm. We've got the Heisen Trail, the brand new span, look, spanking new oval surface. It's all great. What's up for you for the rest of the day? They're still doing presidential duties or making sure yeah. the cordial bottles are topped up? And yeah, they yeah. Uh, I might go and have a I was going to say, you'd be down chewing yeah. your fat with the wise well, heads I, down here. I just actually met a fella up there, um, lovely guy. He, he said you used to coach him pistols about 30 years ago. I can't remember his name. Um, oh, I, must, I must have left him. No, but he said you were a great coach. <laughs> wow. Right, right. Tell him uh, I'll buy him a beer. Tell yeah. him to hang around, I'll buy him a beer. <laughs> All right, Simon, yeah. thank you very much once again Beauty. for joining us. And thanks, thanks for pistols. your hospitality here in the call of the wild this afternoon. Good man. All right. May the best team win. <laughs> Yeah, cheers. Thank you very much. Simon Bryce there joining us, the erstwhile president of Bridgewater Raiders. As the, uh, both the senior sides are on the ground, as we'll endeavour to get the uh, final list here for the Raiders for the call. But uh, both sides go through their warm ups. Beautiful conditions here. sun out a very pleasant autumn day and for those of you who might know Bridgewater Oval uh, can get a little bit uh, well second rank with the oval conditions and also the weather conditions but at the moment it's uh, absolutely perfect not a cloud in the sky a little bit of uh, breeze across the ground and yeah, we must mention our uh, fish yarding umpires this afternoon for this round three Hills Football League clash uh, Brendan Zersh Glenn Godfrey, Central Umpires, Max Matheson, Jake Matheson on the Boundary Academy boys. Umpire Bruce Marston and Chris Tanner in charge of the goals. And, of course, 
Must mention our uh, supporters, our sponsors, uh, Filming Footy, Sports Interactive and Dartfish. And, of course, the Hills Football League sponsors, Police Credit Union at West End at Sports Power, Sharon, the Courier Newspaper, Rossdale Homes and Closey Supermarkets. And, of course, our Match Day Club sponsors here today, making this all happen, Fraser Gardens, Hillgrove Resources, Aztec Developments, Bridgewater in Bridgewater Mill and Harris Real Estate for the uh, Raiders and for Mount Lofty, our thanks to House Inspect Australia, 24 Fit, the Australian Paving Centre and the LCS Maintenance. All good people helping us out with the uh, coverage here this afternoon of the Hills Football League. So trust you enjoy our worldwide stream wherever you'll be taking it in. So round three clash here. The local derby, both sides without a win. So they'll be looking to open their account for the 2022 season. And also, as we said, a pretty respected rivalry here. So they'll be looking to get the uh, the bragging rights in the local derby. So uh, the toss just about to take place. We have uh, Jacko Hooper, the captain of the Raiders. Of course, reigning male medalist. And Alex Weeks, uh, one of the seniors in the side, played in the 20, 2008 grand final as a youngster, Alex. And here he is as the captain. So the toss being made in the centre of the ground. Alex Weeks has won it and has elected to kick towards the uh, the former green shed or creek end i suppose you could call it and the raiders will work towards the cliff or tennis court end here at uh, aztec oval in bridgewater so looking forward to this couple of good individual duels out here be looking for two of the biggest men in the competition of course nathan uh, rollins for bridgewater callington the big ruckman going up against big uh, chima anawanu big chima for mount lofty so perched here on the uh, cement wall well the coals wing i suppose we could dub this by the Mount Barker Road, as we said in the brand new trailer. Thank you very much to Dartfish Filming Footy for supplying that. It's like the Taj Mahal here. So, uh, yeah, what a good game to christen it. That's the two sides, who, uh, two clubs who really have a great uh, respect but great dislike for each other. So, uh, we anticipate a bit of a ring a ding game here this afternoon. And we'll be keeping you up to date also with a few other scores from around the ground. Of course, a bit of a split round here to, in the Hills Football League. Uh, today uh, a couple of twilight games in the anzac round and also of course monday is the big anzac day the traditional clash between harndorf and mount barker being hosted by the harndorf football club so uh, plenty of football to look forward to over the weekend so once again um final scores here so we bring you up to date as we go around the grounds uh afl the dogs 25 adelaide crow 25 so we're all tied up there in the AFL. So, looks like there may well be some form of Anzac Day round ceremony here about to take place. It's, uh, well, the Raiders heading over towards their coaches' boxes. And may well be the fact that, uh, yes, uh, Mount Lofty are joining them. So, uh, and the umpire's moving as well. So, uh, obviously, a little. Anzac O to take place here as will happen for the entire round of football uh, both today and as I said on Monday so uh, we might just take a little bit of a uh, time out here as the teams gather to uh, honour those servicemen who uh, fought for our country and they currently are So, 
Um, and the girl, what was her name, that teaches at Bridgewater, the SSO? Catherine. Catherine. She's here, because her son is playing as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, back here at the call of the wild hills footy match at the round round three here bridgewater callington mount lofty and the players there just uh once again regrouping after uh, a little uh, tribute to the uh servicemen being the anzac round so uh they've honored the battles of the past and now just about to go into their own sort of uh style of battle here for uh Vital Premiership points here in the Hills Football League Division 1 competition as uh, Benny Golf yeah, has joined gotta, me. I've got to go through some Jaden J. Hill stats. Head-to-head -head overall since 2010, 10 matches. Uh, Bridgewater, Callington, three wins. Mount Lofty, seven. Head-to-head -head at Bridgewater since 2010. There's been five matches, including last year with the Cutting Cup. Bridgewater, Callington, three wins. And Mount Lofty, two uh, victories in that. So got some more that i'll go through throughout the day um yep last year pistols uh bridgewater won here of course you know yeah good game of football yeah i think it's one apiece last year but as i said it was six gold last quarter that the raiders uh took the cutting cup on that occasion it's a little bit of push and shovel really weeks and uh Hooper, so umpire Zeus sets the ball up. Leeper was Rollins. Ball comes down. Comes back to Rollins. Quick handball out there towards McDonald. He's taken the ground. Pretty scrappy here. Umpire has paid a free kick, and it will go to Alex Weeks. This year's Mount Lofty captain. One of last year's best uh, team man would. So Weeks goes straight down the ground. Getting back there. Got his hands up. Mount Lofty. Mopping up there for the Raiders. Couldn't pick that play. We're just waiting for their official thing. It was Dougal Grieve, actually. Of course, past Devil and Sturt football. Just uh, on Alex Weeks' pistols, most experienced player in the Devils team. Absolutely. So tap out there. Came for Lofty. Here's a flying shot. Oh, that's a good corner. start. Bit of a cobra. Lovely. Nice Best. goal. Best goal on the board. 43 seconds. Sensational snap. We'll just get the player. Yeah, he's going got back the, to the uh, middle. sort of shaven head there, uh, Goldie. If we can pick him up, if you can look for that. But, uh, yeah, 43 seconds about Lofty on the board. Coming back to the centre in the white. Yeah, it's just, giving Chima, just giving Chima a bit of a uh, high yeah. five. I think it is Declan Carmody. Of course, Harry Weeks, Declan Carmody and Jamison Bauer, all three big back uh, ins this week for uh, Mount Lofty and all topped in the top uh, three in the best and fairest last year. Because uh, former Glen Elg under-18s player and uh, originally from North Gambia. So, back in the centre. Ball up. Ball comes out here. Once again, stolen from the Devils around the corner. There was... Harry Weeks, he'll be one to watch this afternoon. Bouncing ball. Here's a chance there. Will give it out wide by Jake Aish. Kick there. Smother comes off hands. Devils push it forward. Close to the goal square. Oh. Grab there to walk in. Goal there to Josh Cox. Two in a minute. So two in a minute. Yeah. Uh, yeah, one minute 45 gone. Devils two straight. Lead the Raiders yet to score. Josh Cox, Mount Lofty Jr. Versatile tool who can play deep forward and in the ruck. Had some bad luck with injury after a good start to 2021. Uh, but when he's up, he's uh, certainly damaging, and he's kicked the uh, second goal there for Mount Lofty. Yeah, so they certainly win the centre clearances on the, such a small ground, Benny, as yes, you know, get the centre clearance, one kick your virtue right in the teeth for goal. So well, back Al Alex Weeks and Jackson yeah. Hooper going, uh, Still at it. having a bit of a feeling here in the middle. Of course, last year's uh, male medalist, Jackson so, Hooper. So it'll be Rollins for the Raiders against Chimmer. Leaper was Rollins. Nil all draw. Killed that one. There's Hooper getting involved. Weeks over the top of him. Ball spills out here. Grabbed by the Raiders. Locked in there. Nice tackle by Archer Borden. So once again, umpire Zeus will come in and ball up. So the big men go at it again. Choma get it down this time. Deflected in the centre of the ground. Right in the centre circle. Looks like it's Carmody over the top again. I think he wore number 20 last year, Gold. He's changed his number this year, number 10, and also the hair's a little bit shorter. But Had got the, the moustache. I think he's still got the moustache by the looks of it. So, throw it. Chima got it down. Struggling his way through the Devils, trying to get the boot the ball was uh, Will Sherman, but uh, holding the ball. Kicking the ball comes into McDonald on that raking left foot. Puts it forward, looking for the lead down here. Oh, oh hard, desperate effort to try and get there was Darcy Joseph, yep. one of the uh, newcomers that uh, Simon Bryce mentioned. Out of bounds. So, 
three and a half minutes gone. Great start from the Devils. Two yep. goals inside the opening minute. So, throw in. Over the back. Loose ball. Trying to crest his way. Left the ball behind from out lofty there. Sacks on the mill. Trying to shrug his way clear there. Raiders plays. Held up in a good, strong tackle. And that was uh, actually Adam Houlihan. Another one to watch this afternoon. Pass mile medal. So, umpire Zers will take up the ball up. Yep. Right on the 50 mark for the Raiders. What did they do? That Hooper got the handball to Johnny Mack. Good smother there. Torrid start. Kick inside 50 here for the Raiders. Ball's bouncing. Nice work there. Joseph. Joseph snapped round the body. And it's gone through for a minor score. So Raiders' first shot at goal is a minor score. Darcy Joseph. Young Raider looking to step up the A-grade footy this year. Elite runner. And he's kicked the first point there for the Raiders. So Ash Eckerman, off-season recruit from the Pies, swapped the red stripes for the, uh, from the black ones, and a good mark taken out there, contested mark, taken for the Devils by Bennett Wood. Wood right in the centre ground. Ah, oh, Mung kick. It went to Benny O'Donnell. O'Donnell follows up with a tackle pressure. Coming to meet is Harry Weeks. Flicks out a handball, intercepted nicely for the Raiders there. Ball bouncing up forward. Oh, well snared by Hooper. Quality shrugs an opponent, but uh, yeah, paid too high. Just infringing there was Bennett Wood. So the reigning medalists and five-time best and fairest for Bridgewater. Jackson Hooper, only a young man, uh, Benny, but five times their best and fairest. Yes, indeed. So, in the middle of the ground, but it's, of That's course it's Aztec take over. You can get the distance. Oh, it's gone straight down the throat of Big Chima. Yeah, uncontested, but the big uncontested. man. Uncontested. Chima coming on board last year. To the, the leadership group this year, Gold, as he nurses yes, up the co line. Vice, Co-vice captain this year, Pistols. And we're going out over the boundary line, uh, Jason to Cox Creek there. So, just over five minutes gone. The Devils a rousing start here. Two straight, the Raiders one Lovely behind. conditions, got to say. So, Ruck Jewel, Chima over the back, got it down. McDonald lurking there. as a teammate working for it. Ground level, ball held in. And up by Zersh will come in and ball it up. So the big men gather. Looking forward to this contest. Two big men going in their business. This time Rollins flicks over back towards McDonald. Couldn't have the opportunity. Got on his left there. And the ball held into him. Chima doing the follow-up ruck work. He does the ruck work. Does the ground level. Does everything, the big man. Here he's back again against Rollins. Wins it down. Chima towards the boundary. This time McDonald gets it. Escapes on that left foot. High kick towards forward. Big leap there. And a good mark taken there for the Devils in defence. Waste no time to bring it out in the wing here. Target out here will be Ace. Ace grabs the ball. Former Sturt Junior nurses it up the line. Diving attempted mark there for the Devils. In the meantime, it's uh, been paid the infringed in the contest. So Josh Cox already a goal kicker. Yep. He's going to kick in. Oh, smothered. Good work there by Smith. He's looking for some runners. Oh, he snaps around the body. It's uh, going to favour Gonzalez, of course, member of the Sterling cricket team. Eckerman goes to Chima. Chima, nice handball to Max Borden. Wheels around on the right boot. Kick inside 50 for the Devils. Good defensive spoil there by uh, Johnny Mack. In the meantime, the Raiders work the ball out towards the wing, and here's Gonzalez. Oh, I think that's uh, Wayne Sandico running into How a bit of trouble in the long uh, sleeves yeah. there. Holding the ball. So, Devils nursed the ball forward up here to Aish. Already had a couple of touches, the youngster. I think he was in the Crows... Development Academy at one stage. So shows a bit of candy as he gets around and left, drives it forward, but intercepting there, taking a good mark for the uh, Alec Raiders. Bryce. Alex Bryes. So playing with his twin, of course, this afternoon, Will and Alex. So left footer. Goes long up towards the coaching box area. To his, and here's Sandico lumbering out, Wings. takes his first mark of the afternoon. Very uh, good. Ex Mount Lofty, ex Ironback, and. Uh, also ex-Raider in the past, so back at his home Can club. play a bit of cricket too. Yes, he has. And tennis. Man for all seasons is our wins. This time... Oh, Chima. Chima. Off hands is the umpire. Ball comes out here. Devils get out of trouble. Put it out in the wing here. Area. Bouncing ball. Oh, yep good. Second applied there by Alex Weeks. Wow. I'll tell you what, that Raider's part in trouble. You keep your eye on that, Goldie. Ball comes forward. Bouncing ball. Here's a chance for Carmody. Sells a bit of candy. Can he get around on the right? He does. Sets a high shot. Torpedo. It looks like umpire Bruce Marston has moved a little bit in goal, so through for a minor score. But uh, very good work there from Alex Weeks. I think that was uh, one of the young, young Yeah, Raiders. one of the young Raiders just slowly getting to his feet. Just sucking in the uh, the air, which was knocked out of him. But he's up, which is a good sign. So, two, Devils. 
quick around the packs at the moment, Goldie. Looking all right. Of course, both sides haven't chalked up a win yet. Mm. Yeah, last, round three. Uh, last round, Mount Lofty lost to Blackwood. Opening around, they lost to Uradler. Bridgewater Callington uh, lost the first two to last year's grand finalists in Harndorf and Uradler. So eventually we've retrieved the ball. Little Master with the ball will bring the ball in towards the uh, broadcasting win position. Oh, oh nice mark. Yep, Dougal Grief. Dougal Grief takes the mark. Kicks it towards the half forward line. Over the top, almost the mark. Eckerman coming in. Multiple premiership player for Harndorf. It's gone out of bounds. Won't be last touch, will it? No, boundary throw in. Boundary throw in. Hooper gets onto the right boot, switches play out towards Johnny Mack. Might be just beyond his distance here. He's gone back to the middle of the ground. Some forward options. Of course, Rune Guilfoy out potentially uh, for the majority of the season with a leg injury. And once again, Chima unopposed takes the mark into the late in the defensive 50 and finds Borden. Yeah, Borden versus the ball up. Oh, nearly a good strong mark there. Ball comes to ground. Oh, good work by the Devils. Comes back here. That was uh, Bauer involved as they get the ball forward, but done as far as uh, Johnny McDonald. So McDonald, wing area, caresses a uh, left footer up there, uh, but shut off nicely there. And here's uh, Carmody already having a big influence. The past uh, Glenelg and uh, North Gambia football product. He comes across the broadcast side. Oh, it's a bit of a monk kick. And actually, he's uh, picked out Daniel Gonzalez, the former devil, Yep, in his second uh, year inside the... Uh, inside the square, but uh, not El beyond his distance. Oh, he's known as an elusive and classy goal sneak, leading goal kick for the Raiders last season. And it's gone, it built him up a bit, it's gone out of, no, it's gone through for a minor score. So that's the Raiders' second point. They go to two points, Mount Lofty, two goals, one. And we've gone 11 minutes in the opening quarter here from Aztec Oval. And be Ash Ekerman to bring the ball back into play. I said that triple premiership. A-grade player at uh, Harndorf and crossing over the Devils this year. Because played in that very exciting B-grade grand final win, uh, Goldie, last year yep, on the Golden Hole. The Sets the ball up, drop punt in the air. Comes to ground level. Hillhan trying to shark it. Ball comes to ground. Good work down the ground level. I think it's Weeks. Alex Variety holds the ball in there. And once again, we'll have a ball up. In fact, it uh, was Angus Winwood. My apologies. So, Rollins. Anuano Gava. Rollins, Chimak gets a knockdown. Hulahan takes the ball strongly. He's got assistance from Johnny McDonald close to the boundary line, right in front of the uh, the super trailer here. And you broadcast point on the Coles wing area. So Academy Boy will pitch the ball back in. So Rollins front position gets it down. Here's Alex Weeks this time trying to get the ball in front of him, overruns it. Handball out here, taken by Miles, goes to the ground under pressure, the little master. Ball held in there, umpire says no prior, so he'll come in and ball it up. So once again, the big men done a power of work already. Chima, nice flip over the back of the pack, comes towards Bauer, in turn gets over the back. Oh, a bit of a fumble there from the Devils. Coughed it up, but they're good enough to get out through the agency of Bennett Wood. He goes across the ground, Eckerman, foot race. Eckerman and a Raiders opponent. Oh, coming in there nicely. This way, that way. Swings around, nurses it to the leader. Gonzalez, well played. I think that might have been Joseph again, Benny. It's a very good work out there. So, Gonzalez. So Gonzalez, deliberate shot just on the edge of the square, sets on its wide drop punt, it's fading across the face. Maybe getting his hand on it was Raider there. And over the boundary line. So, so we'll have a yeah, throw-in. Boundary throw-in. 13 minutes gone inside the attacking 50 for the Raiders. Chima against a couple of Raiders. Ball comes out. Gonzalez sniffing at ground level. Ooh. Could earn a free kick here for high, and he does. That was pretty clever work there. Bit of Tommy Hawkins work there. Yeah, there uh, was. Slightly <laughs> ducked to Chutney, but he's uh, going to earn a free kick here in the uh, um, in the fort. I'm sliding oh, a bit of push and shove off the board. in this new chair, Pistol. Miles. 
Meantime, it's Gon a goal. Yeah, so Gonzalez gets the first on the board for the Raiders. At the 13 and a half minute mark, they move along to 1-2 two to 2-1. Two, and just a little bit of feeling in the game, as you'd expect. Bit of push and shove down the back. That's nice in the crowd here. Uh, the great man, DK Stevens, just there, a man who didn't uh, mind a little bit of push and shove behind the, the play. So, 1-2-2-1. Two, two, Gonzalez getting the first goal, 13 minute mark. So... Back in the centre will be the big men duelling in the sun. Beautiful day for football here in the quarter. Well, I trust you're enjoying our cool uh, what? Gonzalez had an interrupted pre-season due to cricket. As I said, yeah, won the A grade, play, A grade flag at uh, Sterling. Tamed by Sandico. Gets a bit of a high mung kick. Good use of the body by Miles. Ball bounces back. Here's a chance for Weeks. Overruns it. Harry Weeks, variety. Ball comes out here. He's the devil's quick. Taken back inside by Will Sherman. Bouncing ball. Lurking there was Cox. The opportunity to kick his second goal, but uh, the goal line loomed quicker. So two for a minor score, as indicated by umpire Bruce Marston. So the Devils 2-2. Two, two. Raiders are 1-2. Call to Wild, 14 and a half minutes gone. Johnny Mack brings the ball in for the Raiders. Pack situation. Chima started well. He was in that area. Borden. Chain of handballs. Here's a chance for the Devils. They go forward through Will Jordan's, I think it is, pistols. Into a dangerous position now, about, uh, what is that, 20, 20 25, 25 yep. metres out from goal. Mount Lofty directly in front. Of course, they kicked two goals inside the opening minutes. Raiders have uh, settled it since then with one goal to Daniel Gonzalez. Scramble. That's goal. He said, here's McDonald. Brute strength. Got it to a teammate. Got a quick kick away. Here's Gonzalez again, who's starting to bob up in the second part of this uh, opening term. Nurses the ball down the line. Nice and kick. And finds a teammate down there. Waste no time. It's Joseph. Oh, underground variety. <laughs> Pass there towards Maxie Wakefield. Good to see him back in Raiders colours. Pass premiership player goes to ground. Ball held in. Umpire uh, Godfrey comes in and says, I will have it, boys. Inside, so, inside attacking 50 here for the Raiders. Got the ball back onto an even kill at the moment. Nice period for them. So, new uh, recruit Cam Armanetto involved in that passage of plays he picked up. Here's the ball, comes down to Hooper. He's got a couple of devils to contend with. Umpire said, you're not getting out of that one. So, holding the ball is the decision against a good tackle applied by Jack Reed here. Goldie, another premiership cricketer for Sterling this year. Yep, he kicks the ball up the wing, looking for big Rollins. Oh, there's a couple of else at the back of the bus. Handball out towards Miles. Little master playing coach of the Raiders. Kick, long, strong, inside 50. They're getting repeat forward entries, the Raiders. That's a push-out free kick, though, and that's going to go to Devil's way. Looks like it uh, might be Damo Peterson yep. back in Devil's ranks uh, this season. Coach of the senior Colts, if I Yes, of course, uh, past senior Colt, no grade player. Spent some time down at Mitcham. He got the ball to Eckerman. So Ash Eckerman, half-back flank, back pocket area on the cliff side. Can drift forward and kick goals, Eckerman. Puts it up high. Weeks over the top. Ball comes to ground. Held in there. Looked like it might have been Max Borden. So once again, the umpire will come in and ball it up. So Chimmer pushes his opponent. Tries to get the ball. Miles deflected it into the path of Armantio. Puts it forward. Bouncing ball. Gathered by Hooper. Strong body going in there. Comes out here to Eckerman. Grabs it. Oh, instinctive handball nice. back there to a teammate. Right. But only as far as Miles. Miles thought about playing on. But uh, corralled by the devil. So decides to go short here to the lead of Houlihan. So Adam Houlihan, as we said, past Mild Medalist. Nurse is on the left up here. And once again, Joseph, who's bobbing mm. up. Goldie. Quite impressive nice nice work. Got the white boots and the wandering picture show, so one to uh, catch the eye. One of the younger Raiders in this lineup. I think Sam Miles will be happy with the way that the uh, Raiders have responded after uh, two yeah. goals to Mount Lofty in the first Absolutely. minute. Absolutely. I think they've had the majority of the uh, attacks after that period, the Raiders, so the chance here to tie things up. They're one two, trailing 2 2. So he'll kick them just inside the 45 metre arc. Nice looking off the boot as it come back. Umpire Chris Tanner says no. So through for a minor score. Raiders 1-3. Devils 2-2 two, two on the call of the world. 18 and a half minutes gone. Term 1. Trust you enjoying our coverage here. Filming footy. 
Yeah. Got the sponsors as well, we'll get to shortly. Meantime, Eckerman will bring the ball back in for the Devils. Kick outside a defensive 50 towards the wing area. Oh, over the top, Carmody. Almost a high-flying mark. Chima, nice work. Extracts the ball out to Miles Collins. Ah, oh, Kick inside kick. 50 and a nice mark there on the chest to Connor Mildy, who's the sharpshooter in this Mount Lofty's lineup, and also another cricketer for Allgate. Used to seeing him with the long sleeves and also the socks up. Uh, Goldie? Mount Lofty Jr., long-time mm. key A-grade goal kicker. He's actually the equal leading goal kicker in the early stages of the season of eight, and he actually kicked 29 last season, so he knows where the sticks are. So Loves a celebration too if he kicks a goal. I'll tell you what, he'll be dancing around after that. That's a beautiful kick by Connor Mildy. I oh, know, we got half oh. a celebration. It wasn't a full one. Umpire Marston said, no, it was wide. There was a little bit of a shuffle on the feet, but it wasn't the full... Uh, bit of a party poop there. There was, no. <laughs> so, McDonald to do the kicking in. So, Devils are 2-3, Raiders 1-3. So, McDonald runs out the square, then angles it back in. Ah, oh, that's a good strong mark taken by big Nathan Rollins. Looks to hand it off. Goes for the short pass out into Miles. The little master will take the mark. It's closing in with Zach DeWitt. Ball one here to McDonald. Watch Sandico out. using his body there. And uh, McDonald ran out of tarmac as he ends up on the uh, Mount Barker Road. And we'll have a throw-in from the academy boy just in front of us. Coming up to 20 minutes gone. Goldie, two, three, plays one, three. Good ruck, Jill. Chima versus Rollins. Brings it down the ground level. And uh, the young lad who uh, copped a bit of a body blow earlier in the match is uh, looks like he's all right. So stoppage situation on the broadcasting wing. Miles didn't have it. That's a free kick. Yep. Hang on to him too long in the tackle there by uh, Bauer. So Miles himself, equal number of uh, best and fairest for Mount Lofty was six with the great man Brad Birch. Puts it forward. Oh, crashing through there was Eckerman, but his uh, handball was intercepted. In the meantime, I think Eckerman was held on yeah. too long. He reads the contest well. Yep. Ooh, oh, right. tries to find Carmody. Will it sit for him? Yes, it does. Nurses it up the ring. Looking there. Oh, great mark up by Bear. Stuck out the Duke. Must have Velcro on the ball. It's stuck there. So, goes long. Centre half forwards the target. Ace, I think it is behind the back of the bus. Two Raiders to beat. Ball goes to ground. Ball comes back here to the Briars. And the A-Lake variety puts out a Sandico. Grab takes possession. Gets it back to McDonald, but to illegal disposal by the Weens. who remonstrates. That'd be 50. He's, and got, a, uh, he's got a glove on. <laughs> He's got a glove on. Well, we won't, get, kick we won't go into that. <laughs> kick, kick inside 50 for the Devils. Over the back of the bus, running in. Can he pick Cut. it up? Goal. Ace. Nice goal. Jake yep. Ace, Mount Lofty Jr., returned to the club this year after some time at Sturt, playing under 18s and reserves. He was actually on the Crows Next Generation Academy player yeah. as well as a junior. So a nice goal there at the back of the bus. As I said, uh, former premiership skipper, DK Steve is just uh, wandering past the trailer there. Uh, of course, Bridgewater sponsors today. Fraser Gardens, Hillgrove Resources, Aztec Developments, Bridgewater Inn, Bridgewater Mill and Harris Real Estate. Tamara, Mount Lofty sponsors, House Inspect Australia, 24 Fit, Australian Paving Centre and LCS Maintenance. So, ball from the uh, buck contest goes still in the centre circle. Bit of heavy tackling in there, sees it held up. So, once again, the big men will gather... For a ruck duel. So Just got that breathing space again, the Devils. Absolutely. So, roll on this time gets it in. Was Weeks held? No. Yeah, umpire says, oh, pushing it back there. No, letting it flow was Bryce. Comes back out here to his brother. <laughs> Finally gets it back to Hooper. Hooper nurses up the uh, half forward flank area. Could have been a push out there against Joseph. No. As he puts the ball forward, looking here for Wakefield. Maxi Wakefield, ball bundled out yeah. over the boundary line. And, uh, Still, we haven't seen our dog of the day yet in the Heisen Trail, uh, Goldie. Perhaps we got some. Uh, we got some onlookers. <coughs> of course, Max, onlooker. uh, Max Wakefield making his return to the Raiders this week. Premiership player in 2016, classy forward. Good to see him back in this team. So, ball comes down there, off hands, comes out to a devil, wrapped up there in a good strong tackle, applied. That was uh, Bauer once again held up. So, ball up. Chima just fists the ball towards the boundary defensively. Overrunning it there. Grabbed there by Hooper. Hooper puts it to the top of the square. Bouncing off Armamento. Here's Eckerman. Oh, clever handball. Got it out to Thompson. Thompson nurses up the line and uh, just beats uh, DeWitt. Bit of a basketball background. I think uh, Zach DeWitt Goldie played uh, 
pretty high level. So boundary throw-in will come in from the academy boys. Of course, today, Max and Jake Matheson officiating. So good toss in. Roland got it down. Trying to feed a handball. And the Devils Weeks got it out there to Harry Weeks. Finally, long kick taken forward by Jack Reed. Getting back there was the veteran and Smith. Goes back second effort. Well done, Smith. Closing in on 300 games. However, intercepted by Cox. His kick is smothered. Comes back here. Raiders in defence. Which way? That way in front of the Green Shed crowd. Puts it dangerously. Oh, under the pub there. The Raiders defender goes to Grant. There's a chance for the Devils. Clever handball. Comes out into Weeks. Gets it over into Mildy. Tries a scissor kick over the head. Getting back there's McDonald to boost the girl. He goes through for and touches a try for a rush behind. Rush behind. 3-4, Mount Lofty, Raiders 1-3. We've gone 25 minutes in the opening quarter here. Smith with the possession in front of the uh, green shed area. The adoring masses and uh, well patronised this afternoon and why not? Johnny Max, which is play. Is that Bryce, one of them? Yes, it Up is. Up the wing. Yep. Nice chest mark. Patient build-up here for the Raiders. Working the ball along the uh, interchange wing area. Hooper barking instructions here. Saying Hula hands on in the middle, but he goes further afield, up towards the half-forward line. Rollins is the target. Grief. Oh, nice mm. work there by Big Chemas, taking a mark. Taking a few marks. Gets it on to Eckerman. Multiple premiership player at Handorf. Switches play out and finds a team out out here. Well, hope. So, chop with the ball. Goes in towards the centre of the ground. He's got a couple of devils here. One of them will be bowed right in the centre of the ground. Grabs it. Wastes no time. Puts nice it up there to Ace, who's run on and uh, unattended. And the easiest of marks and precision movement there. Mm. Started with Eckerman. He's been good. He started well, Eckerman. Mm. So Ace kicked the last goal for the devils, which was their third. So the chance here, three, four plays, one, three. So, cameraman... James be right behind him here on filming footy, right over his shoulder. So we'll see how good he is. Tell you what, it just yeah, fades just away. Right. Nearly hit the koala in the gum tree for a minor score. So 3 5 Devils, Raiders a 1 3 here on filming footy call of the Wild Hills Football League action. Facebook, call of the Wild, and Facebook on Hills Football League, and also the filming footy YouTube. Dodson takes the mark, usually gets a tagging roll. He's in the defensive 50. Connor Mildy on the mark. High ball out towards the broadcasting wing. Pack form. Ball hits the deck. Ball comes out. Little master Sammy oh. Moore. Check sides the ball along the wing. And the Devils mop up in defence once again as Eckerman gets the ball onto Max Borden. Borden puts it back there. Oh, a couple of Raiders. It's a grieve which one of them got through. Here's a chance there. Oh, well done by Smith, the veteran. Infringed high, so Smith, as I said, closing in on 300 games for the Raiders. What a great stalwart to the club he's been. Puts it towards half forward. Big Chima just oh, lumbers out, takes up it. up the marks. So Chima, as Goldie said, already taking a few big intercept marks. Gets to the run of Eckerman. Eckerman nurses across him for Bauer, who's also had a few touches. Nice mullet going on there. Gets it to a teammate up the ring. I think it's uh, Weeks, maybe, oh, or Archibald. a kick is smothered there. Archer Borden, sorry. And that's all she cried in the first quarter, so here... After a pretty entertaining opening to the local derby, round three, Hills Football Division 1 action. Mount Lofty, 3-5. Raiders are 1-3, Benny. So, uh, yeah, pretty good game of footy. Well, it certainly is. It just goes from stats that matter from Jane J. Hill, who's not here today, but he's... Uh, yeah, we sent him... He uh, sent him best. some stuff. So, average winning margin against each other. Bridgewater, Callington, average winning margin against Mount Lofty is 19.6. Bridgewater's average winning margin against Mount Lofty at Bridgewater is 16. Mount Lofty's average winning margin against Bridgewater is 47.2. Mount Lofty's average winning margin against Bridgewater at Bridgewater is 32. Of course, we said in the head-to-head -head matches since 2010, there's been 10. Of course, both sides have had a stint in uh, country division. Bridgewater are three wins. Mount Lofty is seven at this venue. Bridgewater have won three and Mount Lofty have won two in the past five encounters. So, yeah, some interesting stats there from Ahmed Jaden. Yeah, so we just looked through the uh, what's happened so far. The Devils, a lightning start. I think, Benny, it was 43 seconds. Carmody getting their opening goal and then Cox following up shortly after, just under two minutes. 
So, as you said, a rousing start, and the Raiders uh, sort of worked their way back into the game, and uh, Gonzalez raising his first goal against his whole club, 13 minutes, and then Ace, 21 minutes. So, consequently, 3-5, 23, plays 1-3-9 here on... Um, i got some cool. um, scores for... Yeah, as we go around, around the ground for uh, Fraser Gardens. Uh, Bridgewater, uh, this was at uh, full-time in the B grade at uh, Kersbrook. Iron Bank defeating Kersbrook seven goals seven to four thirteen from our man Rob who's out there. Uh, at Blackwood, Blackwood leading a chunga three one to one one. First quarter action there. Oh, uh, go around. So what was that again? Three one to one one. Oh. Blackwood leading that. Uh, Crows forty one. The Dogs are thirty one. For an update on the AFL, uh, just got some comments coming in on the Facebook feed. Tom Zampa, Alex Week. Alex Weeks like a fine wine, getting better with age. <laughs> Will Miller says Speedy is everywhere. He's playing with his own footy today. Um, Joseph Drew. Angus Winwood, what a team player. Henry Pope. So keep them coming through on the Facebook page. Also on the Filming Footy page as well. And of course... Our game uh, brought to you with the assistance of our very valuable sponsors, and we thank them very much. Uh, media sponsors, Filming Footy, Super, uh, sorry, Sports Interactive and Darkfish, HFL uh, League sponsors, Police Credit Union, West End, Sports Power, Sharon, The Courier Newspaper, Rostow Homes and Colossi's Supermarkets. And, of course, the uh, Match Day sponsors for today for the uh, Raiders Football Club, Fraser Gardens, Hillgrove Resources, Aztec Developments, Bridgewater Inn, Bridgewater Mill and Harris Real Estate. Tamara, the uh, best agent in the uh, area. Get on to her if you want to sell your house. And for Mount Lofty, uh, their sub-supporters today are House Inspect Australia, 24 Fit and LCS Maintenance. And, uh, of course, we thank them very much for their uh, generous support of the call of the world and trust you enjoying our worldwide coverage here in this season of uh, Division 1 football from the Adelaide Hills I must say uh, a very pleasant Adelaide Hills day here sun out, beautiful autumn day for round 3 as the team's just uh, breaking now from their huddle so Sammy Miles would have been pretty happy I suspect Goldie after that early onslaught by the Devils who said 2 goals in 2 minutes pegged it back a bit I did. Just looking out who's coming into the middle here from Mount Lofty to start this second term. Chima's in the ruck, obviously. Might be Trev the cameraman. <laughs> De Declan, uh, Declan Carmody. Who else we got in there? Pistols. Harry Weeks. Uh, Harry Weeks. Vice-captain. Yep. Uh, Alex, Weeks. Alex Weeks. Alex Weeks. Yeah, the Weeks connection. Rollins is in there. Johnny Will Mac Bryers. Hooper. Johnny yep. Mack. And Jackson Hooper, last year's male medalist, to get us underway in the second term. Okay, so it's a 14-point margin as we head into the second term. Mount Lofty with their nose in front here. Both sides, as we said, seeking their opening win of the season and also the bragging rights in a, uh, which a pretty good rivalry here, the local derby here in the Adelaide Hills. So up by Zerst holds the ball. A Lofty were away second term. Call of the Wild. So Rollins, the leaper. Chima got the ball down. Comes back to Rollins. Here's Chima doing his own work. Handball it out. Running into a bit of trouble was Weeks. Managed to get it back at it. Intercepted by Miles. Was he taken uh, high? You like this comment, Pistols. Will Miller says Raiders really missing cult figure Benny O down back today. Absolutely, Benny O. Yes, we are. We were prepared to give him a good uh, shout out, but he's not out there. But anyway, comes back to Miles. Over the top of him was Weeks. Both of them uh, winners of the uh, best and first at Mount Lofty. Facts. Harry Weeks winning the inaugural commentary Doors medal last year as the best and first. And Miles was six of them in the cabinet. Best and fairest for Lofty. So the little master will go long, high ball. Lumbering out here is uh, Maxi Wakefield. Got his hands to it, goes to ground. Good work by Eckerman. Was he held? No. Quick hands there for the Devils. Gets the ball here. Good running there by Jack Reed. Nurses on the wing area, bouncing ball. First to get back there will be Bryce. Close to the boundary. Of course, the uh, Alec variety. And out over the boundary line in front of the grandstand, which runs 3 5 to 1 3. So. Boundary Academy boy pitches the ball in. Chima in front, got his hand, got it down. Here, stolen by by Hooper. Quick high kick forward. Camped under his Eckerman. Defensive fist. Spoils in the attempt there for Armamento. And out over the boundary line. 
So, once again, quick opening tempo in the early stages of this, the second term. Played 90 seconds. So, in the shade of the old uh, gum tree there, the ball. Oh, high leap, but it was Roland's got the ball down. Big tackle applied there. Bit of push and shove. Heavy tackle was Damon Peterson coming in, and looks like uh, it's Miles, who's uh, won a free kick for perhaps an over-vigorous tackle applied by Peterson. So... Sammy Miles. Just a reminder, Filming Footy YouTube. Check it out today or Call of the Wild on Facebook page or the Hills Football League Facebook page as well. The little master. 15 goals for the season last year. Yet to get on the board, I'd suggest, this season. Patient build-up here. Oh, a kick, drop, punt. Oh, Umpire Bruce distance. Marston actually didn't merge much ground. Great goal. And Sammy Miles starts the second quarter positively for his Raiders with a very good young goal at the uh, two-and-a-half-minute mark, Goldie. Just pulls yep. that margin back now. So he's a playing coach in his second year after joining from Mount Lofty, inspirational on-field leader, astute tactician pistols, and student of the game, lives and breathes football, multiple A-grade male medalist, and he's got the Raiders back to within eight points and here. Yeah, we say Goldie expected father too to him and uh, Charlie that was expecting. So pretty good genes there. A bit of Jarman work and a bit of Miles work. Anyway, ball back in the centre. Working hard at ground level was Hooper. It uh, looks like he's shadow for the afternoon. Alex Weeks with him. I'm just looking towards the uh, gum tree. It's just a slight breeze, but nothing mm. really to speak of. Ah, oh, well, taking the ball, taken forward. Ah. Oh. Quick handball there. McDonald, the first to Gavrick. Got it back out here. The prize it turn gets two miles. The coach pumps one forward. I think this is McMurtry in the seat. Ball comes to ground. The Devils are oh, great pressure there. Applied. And ball forced over the boundary line. That's good work. The number 25 will try and pick him up. And so we haven't got the team sheet. But he did take that heavy knock early in the first quarter. Gold a bit. He's bounced back. And that was a really yeah. good tackle he applied there to hold that up. So Chima, front position, palms it down. <laughs> Taken by Carmody, got it back to Bauer. Bauer high kick forward, getting under its grieve. Read the ball well, he's under a lot of pressure, but that's a good mark. Flex the ball out, back out here to a teammate in Briars. But the Will Variety gets the ball forward. Wigan was rolling, oh, once again, high tackle applied there on that uh, Miles. I reckon Carmody's the only player on the ground with the socks right up to the knees. Really looks like a footballer. Matt Rouse style. Yep. So, Miles puts it deep inside the teeth. A goal. Big leap from behind. Ball spills. Here's a chance. Suck it off the ground. Right. I'll tell you what. Cam Armamento. Armamento, sorry. Well, lovely. With the orange boots. Classy footballer. Very nice. So, Armamento. Four and a half minutes gone. Puts the second goal on the board. This term for the Raiders, so they've hit back he nicely. Is, uh, he recruited from Sturt, made of Dougal Grieve and Rune Guilfoy. Young, solid body, classy midfielder, great bloke, fit and looking for a big season. Well, he's uh, fulfilled the obligation there with another goal for the Raiders and they bring it back to within two points. I think he kicked three goals in the first game, Goldie, so he's fourth for the season. Very important. So back to a two-point two point ball game here. 3-5 three, Devils, 3-3 three, three Raiders. Oh, yes. Here's the Raiders again going forward. Oh, over the top. Ball bouncing out the back here. Desperate defence in the Devils. Thompson got the handball out there to a teammate in Jordan, who gets a quick kick away out towards the interchange area. Ball stays in play, taken in by Jack Reed. Just a little bit panic. Mount Lofty Must be the downfield free pay. Could so Reed going Got back. Got away with it, but yeah. Mm, so Reed, as we said, uh, Premiership cricket player for well, he's backing Sterling himself in with the switch. Comes across here to Bauer. So the man with the mullet goes forward straight down the centre. Oh, getting his so it's Grieve. One grab, two grab. Umpire said that's good enough. Takes the mark. So Grieve goes to Joy McMurtry. Taking the mark. Nice mark there. As Pistol said, youngster. Callington Junior product joins from Jervois. Meantime, ball inside 50 here for the Raiders. Nice work by Archer Borden. Archer's the back, oh, I should near. say, and he's uh, on to Jake Aish. Opens the forward 50. Mildy. Sees on nice it. Nice work Can there by Mildy. He does back Aish. 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 Aish will run into an open goal and dribbles it through. Oh, one of the goals of the year. Lovely work. Superb work, and uh, all started down in defence. Great attack on the ball there by your man, Archer Borden. Goldie set arched, that up. Arched his back there, and lovely work. Ah, oh, love it, love it. So, good good steady there for the Devils. Needed that one. 
So just over six minutes gone. First two goals of the term going to the Raiders, but a good answer by Aish. So four, five, plays three, three. Aish's second goal for the afternoon. He's a likely player. Well, good pedigree. Very much so. Back in the middle, it'll be Rollins up against Chima. Scoreboard 4-5, Mount Lofty, Raiders 3-3. Three, three. Good game of football. Rucks go at it. Chima won that one to ground level. Weeks bursting through. Of course, he played interleague last year. Yeah, very impressive. Vice-captain in this side. Important inclusion. I think he was out last, last game against Blackwood. Rollins won that one. Johnny Mack is wrapped up in a tackle. Held up end of the centre circle. There's another dog on the Heisen Trail. <laughs> Could be a contender. So in the centre, Rollins, double hit, got it down the hoop, but was he held? Manages to feed the handball direction to McDonald. He's bundled aside. Here's Alex Weeks. Managed to get some sort of kick. Comes out towards Harry Weeks. Sells a bit of candy. Gets it back to Alex Weeks, who bounced back. Puts it high. Over the top here. Ball hits the deck. Lurking there. Was Mildy, but just uh, couldn't control the, the ball. Grounds. Kersbrook, four goals. Ironbank, 1-6. Mm, good start good there start by, by the Brookers. The Brookers. more goals than they did in the last start. Correct. Goldie already. So, pitched in by the Boundary Academy boy. Ball comes down there. Scrambly play. Fed out there for the Devils was Josh Cox. In the meantime, and Fridgman has been paid at ground level on Hooper. I think it might have been Alex Weeks. He's a shadow. So, uh, Jack o Hooper, as we said, the reigning male medalist. And, of course, captain of the Raiders. Thought about giving it a back off to Johnny McDonald, but then nurses is up the line to a teammate there, takes the mark. So, half back flank area as we uh, bring you the call from the boundary side. This one's nearly come into the trailer. Out of bounds on the full, so the resultant free kick will go here to Archer Borden, who just launched that wonderful attack. Looks like it's a 50 25. Or 25 here, Goldie. Didn't see what that was for. Was it descent or someone waved their hands or what? <laughs> but uh, what it has done is taken Archer Borden from the wing area in front of the uh, trailer to uh, virtually, what, 25 metres, 30 metres out front of goal. Virtually straight in front. So important kick here. The Devils, if we get, get this, will certainly just break a little bit of the sting of the Raiders. So Mount Lofty Jr. returned to the club after playing under-18s with Sturt. He's kicked the goal. Former South Australian under-16 and Crows Next Generation Academy. Rebounding half-back line who likes to run and deliver the ball long. Can be relied upon to impact every contest. Will he kick the goal there? An important one for the Devils. I'll tell you what, that would have uh, pleased the coach, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think so. If he'd missed that one, uh, all those hours of practice in the backyard would have been for nothing. Of course, he's uh, Father Michael, the coach of the uh, Mount Lofty A grade team. So well done, the young Archer. And as Benny said, that's uh, pushed the Devils 5-5 uh, five, five to 3-3. Uh, three, three. So what's that? Back to the 14-point margin. They held it quarter time. So back in the centre, having a spell and right for the Devils is Cox. Ball comes down there, fed out by Armamento. First to get their Raiders. Ball coughed up there towards interchange area. Looming was DeWitt in pursuit was Hooper. Ball out over the boundary line in front of the uh, crowd on the seats here. Just uh, enjoying the sun, although the shadows are starting to creep over the ground here. But the Aztec Oval looking in magnificent condition. Ball comes down there. Around the corner. High kick from Ace. He's everywhere at the moment. High ball. But a very good mark taken there for the Devils. Looks like Alex Weeks, the veteran captain. Yep, Weeks with it. He'll kick the ball long and strong inside 50. Oh, nice work of the body there. Uh -huh. It's gone through for a minor score. Experience there from Smith Goldie. Just uh, wait off for the crumbs. And I think it was uh, Harry Weeks who I was saying was a nice work of the body, but it's off hands, minor score. So Hooper with the ball goes back across the ground. Benny O'Donnell. Oh, here he is. Tommy Miller, you'll be loving it. Benny O'Donnell. Bustling Benny puts the ball up the lead of uh, nice Maxie weekend. Wakefield, but good spell once again by Borden. He's doing everything yeah. right at the moment, Goldie. He is. It'll be a boundary throw in just around us in the commentary position. Academy of Boys today. Boundary, we've got Max Matheson and Jake Matheson. One's got two T's and one's got one T. In the meantime, in case you were wondering, 
Ball's in the middle of the ground. Oh, nice work. Out oh, of the Sandico tried to torp. Dodson was involved in that play, I think. So, Archer Borden kicked the last goal from out lofty. Drifting down. Oh, over the top. Almost a spectacular mark there for the Raiders. Eckerman, meantime, he goes to Archer Borden. Bit of Ooh. skill, class. Finds his brother in Max. So Max Borden on the wing. Important period in the game. 12 minute mark in the second term. 14 points the mark. Oh, oh nice mark there by Briars. Yep. He switches Ooh. play out to the wing and finds the uh, skipper and Hooper. Hooper covering plenty of ground. Puts the ball up here. DeWitt. Foot race. Gacy's Raiders opponent. Oh, nice. They are coming through there nicely. Driving the ball forward. Oh, good defensive spoil there by Harrison Bailey. Game's just opened up a bit here. Yep. Once again, Hooper involved. Bryce. Oh, plenty of pace there by Bryers. Uh, the uh, Alec variety. Ball mopped up here by Borden at the moment. He's everywhere. Got a handball off to a teammate who drives it along. Here's Dougal Grieve over the top. Stretches. Got his hands so it couldn't hold it. Comes back out here. Raiders with chain of handball. Comes back to Bryers. Once again, the ball coughed up. Plenty of pressure out there at the moment. Goldie, hot potato. Mm. And the ball is held in. So, what have we gone? 12 and uh, nearly 13 minutes gone. Good game of 43 3 Raiders. Devils in front 5 5 here in the quarter. Wild we'll Trust you enjoying our filming footy coverage of the Hills Football League match of the day. Ah, oh, fisted forward there for the agency of Sherman. Ball comes out here once again, taken by Armamento. Flicks a handball out here, taken by Briars. Alec finally comes back out here to Hooper. He gets a high kick away. Could have been in French as he kicked it. Uh, yes, said the umpire. So, relay frick, uh, kick up the ground will be taken by the Raiders. Yep. I think it's McMurtry. Yep, he'll kick the ball inside 50 for the Raiders. Oh, oh, who's the target? Well, it's the mark. Oh, Joseph. And, uh, oh, yeah, a bit or of treat. Jamie Drew with a different Guernsey number? Could be Jamie Drew. I think it's Jamie Drew. Has the tat? I think you might be right. It's, uh, he's just number 15. Could well be, I we'll, we'll get that checked at half time. But, Pretty sure uh, it's Jamie Drew. Whoever it is, Goldie's got the goal on the board. Hang on, the umpire's just having a chat here. I think it's a goal. Yeah, well, no, umpire, umpire Marston has signalled. Oh, clear. Well, that's all that counts. Raiders go to 5-3. Is that right now, Pistols? To 5-5? Yep. Five, five? So two points to margin. Back Four. Four-three. Four-three. Four-three to 5-5. Four, three five. Three to five, five. Yep. Eight points to margin. Of course, you can update the scores on uh, filming footy. To check the scores there. <laughs> so back in the centre. How many goals we had this quarter? Five. Three so this will be interesting. I think we've got Alec Bryce will be rucking against Big Chima, conceding a little bit there. And Chima fists the ball forward. Here's Miles. Oh, the fence. Watch oh he's just absolutely barrel rolled there by Carmody. No beg your pardons out at the moment. And Miles gets up. So just on the edge of the square. Devils looking to uh, reply to that last goal. Kicked by Drew Chima. Gets it down. Comes back here to Bryce. Comes back here to Miles. Taken high. No, said the umpire. Right on the spot there. So once again, the umpire will ball it up. Good game of footy at the moment. 4-3, 5-5. Uh, Call the wild. Got a couple more footy. messages coming in here. I'll get to them. Yep, Chima shortly. flicks the ball out here. Direction of Miles Collins. Just tries to curl it back, uh, check side style, but didn't get enough on it. Out of bounds on the full, and the resultant free kick will be taken by Stephen Smith, uh, Goldie. Sorry, no, it's come uh, back here to Bailey. Onkers captain Jake Adcock says, Big Rune looking large and in charge on the sidelines. Oh, he is yeah, down the there. Side. You see Rune Guilfoy down there with the... Uh, Probably could be over the, the other side. side. Yeah, I see him. He's got the... Uh, yeah, he's got the knee bandage uh, on, unfortunately. Yeah, ACL. And he sees. Meanwhile, Axon back with Bryce. Gets the roll and he runs into a bit of trouble. Got it back to Benny O'Donnell. Creative handball from O'Donnell. Gets it to Bryce. He tried the old don't argue. Cops up the ball through the agency of a free kick. Oh, Harry Weeks off to the races. Long kick inside 51 on one. Moody. Oh. oh, nice work there. Bailey. Bailey gets it off to Smith. Finds Bryce. Keen to get onto that left boot. Just darting around on the mark. Oh, should I say right boot? Little kick up the wing. McMurtry drops what he probably should have taken there. Oh, oh well good start. second effort, though, with the tackle. 
Attacking the ball at full pace was Reed. Kick inside 50. Well, uh -huh. to the edge of the 50. It's taken by a fast lead in Connor Mildy, who was keen to move it on quickly. Play on. Oh, what's uh -huh. he doing? It's, oh, uh -huh. gee whiz. He uh -huh. sold himself into some serious trouble yeah. there, and the Raiders are away through Briars to Briars. He, he stole from himself there, God. <laughs> Amiato. Yes, indeed. This is at 40. It's Gonzalez, who somewhere that just came out of the shadows, gives it off to Johnny Mack. He'll go bang on the left foot, sets it high. Leaper back there was Drew. I think Chimo got his hands to it. Cuts back here to Houlihan. Ball spills free, working to try to work it out. Here's a chance for Houlihan if I get it to him. Goes back and applies a tackle there. The ball will be held up dangerously here, about 15 metres out from the mm. goal face in the shadows here at uh, Aztec Oval. And 17 minutes just ticked over. 4 3 Raiders trail the Devils 5 5. Here's a chance around the corner for the oh, Raiders. That's classy. Just Almost. wait and see who kicked that. It was offline. Dobson. Dobson, I think it says in the budget, but we're not sure if it is him, but anyway. A few numbers have changed. So 4-4 four, four now, 5-5. Five, five. So seven-point ball game here. That's the ball being retrieved. And a good crowd in at the green shed pocket, as it'll be forever known. Just enjoying a few quiets and a good game of footy. High kick out. Gee, that's held up a bit. Rolling. Works himself, but uh, Bryce stood his ground from the pack and takes a mark. He does. So Bryce on the right boot, kick inside 50, over the top. Oh, oh Speedy! Speedy! He's just got to pick it up, oh. step around the corner, he's missed. Wow, I thought he might have just gone the, the boot to the ball, but obviously it just wouldn't sit for him. But uh, lurking dangerous as he does, Gonzalez. One goal the difference now, 4-5 to 5-5. Five, five. So that's uh, three goals to the Raiders. Is that right? Two to Mount yep, Lofty yep. for the quarter? Yep, good game of footy. Meantime, the ball is uh, in the middle of the ground. McMurtry, attack on the ball. Oh, Borden, Max Variety. Got the handball away, but it went to Johnny Mack. Shows a bit of class. One way than the other. Bailey. The one, two from Bailey. Gets on the left boot. Not the best kick. Looking for Briars. Turnover. Kick into the oh, middle of the ground. Dangerous. That's a dangerous kick. Coach Borden wouldn't be happy with that. Amiato, long, strong, goal! You betcha. Oh, Coach wow. Borden would not be happy with that one. Amiato, his second goal of the term for the Raiders. The uh, former Sturt Jr. And I tell you what, just a bad turnover. No doubt the uh, <laughs> the devil player will know that. Coach Borden would not be very happy. But uh, just the pressure out there. So, scores even. Scores even here, Goldie. It's 19 minutes ticked over. As a great man, it's so got a ring a ding ding here at the moment. Here on Call of the Wild. 5 5 apiece. Call of the Wild Facebook page, Hills Football League Facebook page, and the uh, Filming Footy YouTube channel. Get involved. Yep, tell us where you're watching it, who you think's going to win. And Thomas Miller just waiting for Benny O'Donnell to burst his influence uh -huh. once again. So, back in the centre, Shema wins it down. Johnny Mack perhaps ridden into the ground. No, said the umpire. Ridden the ground was Hooper. Uh, Daryl Nichols pistol says, yes. lads, how good are the new goalposts here at Aztec Oval? They're very good, uh, Daryl. I suppose you painted the top of them. So, ball comes down there. Chinawana got it. Uh, Carmody taken high. No, said the umpire. Also in there at yeah, the moment is Bauer. They do look good. They do. It's insane. And interesting, as Squiz said, they've actually straightened them up as well. So, I've moved them that. around a bit. So, umpire's Zeus. Set the ball up again. Chima versus Rollins. Rollins backhands it down. Once again at ground level, Weeks and Hooper. How many times have called that this afternoon, Golden? There'll be a few more to come, I'd suggest. So once again, play will resume. Chima pushes out his opponent. Taps the ball down, taken in by Hulahan. On the left, drives it forward. There's a chance for Gonzalez in front. Controls the ball, loses it. Eckerman toe poked it clear. Taken here by the Devils. Good clearance work out here. Out towards Borden, stretching foot. Oh, it. well done by Benny O'Donnell. Big bouncing Benny puts it towards the pocket area. But coming up once again is the Devils. Good work there by Jordans. Gets it back. Yes. Bouncing ball. Oh, Ooh. running the gauntlet there was Reed. Intercepted for the Raiders. Putting it forward. Holding on. Wakefield no. trying to keep it in. So, Damon Peterson will be taking. Damon Pearson, we're taking the free kick deep in the back pocket. Puts it out here, just hugging the boundary line. Taken there by Bauer. So Jamison Bauer, sporting the mullet. 
Tell you what, Bailey Smith style by the end of the season, you'd suggest. Sets the ball to wing area. His groove works himself. Over the top was Harry Weeks. Taken by Alex Weeks. Drives it forward. Coming to meet it is Smith. Can he control the bounce? Yes, he does. Oh, well done, Smith. He's a veteran, though. He's under all sorts of trouble. Grabbed up by Angus Winwood. Here's another chance for the Devils. Ball spills finally. And the umpire arrives just as the Raiders are about to clear it. Yeah. Stoppage situation, bang on the uh, 50, 22 minutes gone, one point in the margin, Mount Lofty leading, Big Chima versus Roland at the, oh here's Harry Weeks, stripped of it to Chima, high handball, back to Harry Weeks, <laughs> bit of a chicken arm sort of tackle, chicken wing I should say, not chicken arm. Well they are arms if oh, they had a hand. That's a good point. I'm waving. Here we go. All right. Uh, Centre half forward area for the Raiders. Perhaps, perhaps that could be a good thing, Goldie. Go next time you go to the Red Rooster. Lofty, drive, I should say. Drive a Sorry. box of chicken hands. <laughs> Sorry, I was a bit distracted there. Anyway, we'll get back to the more sensible favoring things. Mount Lofty scoring Which in. Which is a good game say. of footy. Hacked Here we go. By Hooper. Hooper snaps the ball in the middle of the ground. Here's Archer Borden. I like his game so far. Gets the ball on. Warhope. Warhope. Oh, McDonald. Johnny Mack held up in a tackle. And the ball is on the right half forward area for Mount Lofty. So 23 minutes just about to tick over. Devils by the slimmest margin. 5-6 five, to 5-5. Five, five. Good game of footy here on Call of the Wild. Ball comes back around the corner. High kick was Miles Collins. Come to meet it with Smith. Controls the ball close to the line. And out over the boundary line, mm. Jason to the Heisen Trail. As we said, the shadow's starting to creep a little bit more over one half of the ground here, but still pleasant conditions. Ruck throw in. And Amalu in front. Roland getting it down. Mm. Weeks uh, doing a bit of a cartwheel there on his own, whether he was pushed over. Meanwhile, kick ba forward. Bauer. Bauer with the snap forward, holding on free kick. It's gone the Raiders way. Yep, defensive, yep. So, free kick, no score counted. So, the Raiders to bring the ball back into play. High kick there through the agency of Bailey, I think it was. Ball bouncing out here. Right in the cricket pitch area. Ball fit out here. Oh, quick hands by Weeks. Controlled it. Flicks the handball in the direction of his oh. Alex Weeks, but good interception there for the Raiders. But in the meantime... Not a yellow card? Well, I don't know. Meantime... Ball comes back here. For Raiders gets it out. Here's Benny O'Donnell. Certainly made a difference. Oh, races around like Usain Bolt style. Gets the ball forward. Here's a chance for Gonzalez. It's at sits the room. Close to the line. The speed man bundled over the line. Keeps it in. No, said the academy boy out of the line. Benny O'Donnell. Yeah, no, he's Tommy up. Miller would be just loving this. He's probably got him in uh, footy skulls or footy points. He's up and about. He is up and about. 25 minutes gone. One point in the margin. Heading towards half time. Chima versus McDonald there in the right contest. Interesting. Yeah, when Rollins game. goes off, like we've seen Bryce in Ruck Alec Bryce, and this said Johnny Mack doing the work. This time it's McMurtry. McMurtry versus Chima, who won that easily. Got the work ball out there to Jack Reed, Premiership player at Sterling in the cricket. Oh, Five good ball crack. and a great mark there. Yeah. Gus Winwood. Winwood, right in front of us here, in front of Benny O. Just got to put the shoes back on there, and he does. Right down the lens of. Uh, Career photographer Danny Casalato too, Goldie. Winwood, kick inside 50, hugging the boundary line. It's gone out of bounds on the full. No need for the last touch there. Raiders free kick to Briars. So Briars, this will be the Will variety. Suits it up the wing, looking for big Rollins. Oh. Oh, intercepting it nicely as Will Sherman came through like a Sherman tank. Gave it Alex Weeks. His kick is smothered though. Good enough to go back. Also Briars involved there. But in his uh, urgency to get make up for his mistake, Alex is infringed, so the free kick to Alec Bryce. Yep, gets it to Miles. Little master, playing coach. Second year as coach amount of the Raiders, I should say. It's lovely conditions here from Aztec Oval in Bridgewater. What Bryce. Are you, uh, are you forecasting something in the future, Goldie? Mount Bridgewater or amalgamation? Yeah. Or? Could be. <laughs> hey. Alec Fry's meantime, kick inside 50. Oh, front position, that's a mark. Yeah, Dougal Grief. Now, who's down here? Players darting in and out. Oh, umpire says 
Uh, what's he gonna? Oh, okay. He said he was off. Meantime, Matt Lofty got a counter attack going. Oh, lost the ball in the sun there. Unfortunately, there. Needed a bit of the Mason Cox work there. Yeah. With the sunglasses on, but uh, unfortunately couldn't see the ball. So, unfortunately, the Devil's Boy dropped the bark. So, results in a ball up. So, Chima, Rollins. Chima goes unopposed, then follows up, but uh, that'll be all she cries. End of the quarter. Uh, yeah, very good. Could be a omen out here. Goldie, it's uh, my old mate out here in the. Uh, oh, the magpie. There's a magpie just chilling on the uh, fence here. Oh, Coach Borden's over here. That's interesting. Yeah, getting a different perspective over here, Goldie. Coach yeah, not Borden the coach is much over here by the wall. Perhaps he was getting the uh, input of some of the spectators. Maybe he's been sitting in this van for the whole time. We didn't <laughs> even know. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, at half time, very good game of footy on our hands. One point ball game. Raiders 5-5. Five, five. Trailing Mount Lofty 5-6. Three goals, uh, sorry, four goals to two that term by the Bridgewater Kellington Raiders. Bearing in mind, a quarter time they tried by 14 points and they kicked out of the blocks pretty quickly to kick two goals in the first four minutes for the eights here. The uh, coach Miles and then Amiento. Uh, Devils fought back with a good goal by Ace. Good team goal. Then uh, uh, Borden. Got a few comments coming on then here. Then Borden. Yeah, sorry, Goldie. And then uh, Drew, uh, we think it's Drew, and then Armiento with his second for the quarter. So four goals to two. So five, play, five, five plays five, six and one point. Ball game is just go around the ground. So Bulldogs 56 are leading uh, Adelaide Crows 54. Seven goals, 12 to eight, eight, Goldie. So poor kicking by the Crows at the moment. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah. you. Will, Will Miller, who's Benny O's... Uh, Number one fan. Yes. He said, this is Benny O's world. We're all just living in it. Uh, Le Luke Eduardo says, where's the recruit from Harndorf? Yench, I think his name is. Oh, yes, we can. Uh, Ma Matthew Yench uh, oh, that... playing for Warwick the Bill Eagles this afternoon. He was only temporary, I think, on loan, although he may be back before the uh, end of the season. Who knows? But uh, he's playing at Warwick the Bill this afternoon. All righty. There you go. So any other queries, we can uh, perhaps do the Dorothy Dix, uh, Goldie. Any other That's some good comments life? today. Good comments coming through. <laughs> we'll see if we can go around the grounds very shortly. Yep. We'll just have a little break in a minute uh, during the half time to uh, refresh ourselves. Because it's been so exciting here. As we said, One point five, six to five. Just looking for the major goal kickers on the ground, uh, Benny. Uh, yeah. Armiento has two. Drew has one. We think it's Drew. Miles and Gonzalez for the Raiders. And for Mount Lofty, Aish. Been very impressive. Jake Aish with two. Carmody, Cox and Borden with that uh, 50, 25 metre penalty that he got to kick the goal. So there we have the goal kickers. Uh, so uh, interesting game of footy coming into this game, Goldie. Uh, Devils had kicked 18 goals in their two games and the Raiders had kicked 16 in their two games. So pretty evenly matched as far as scoring capacity, yep. which is perhaps showing out in the scoreboard at the moment. We've both have kicked five goals. So Before we have a bit of a break, yep. just go Jane J. Hill style stats again. The closest and the biggest margin between the two sides. The closest margin is, was three points at Bridgewater. That was back in 2013, round one. We might be on track for that today. Uh, biggest margin is 137 points. That was Mount Lofty's way. Back in round one, 2011, mm. the biggest margin at Bridgewater is 66 points. That was Mount Lofty's win back in round 10, 2011. Yep. And the highest highest and lowest aggregate scores, highest aggregate score is 204. Bridgewater, 69, defeated by Mount Lofty, 135. That was round 10, 2011. And the lowest aggregate score was just 61 points. Bridgewater, 17, defeated by Mount Lofty, 44 back in round 12, 2012. So there's some uh, important stats from Jaden. Yes, stats that matter. From our man, Jaden J, who we uh, wish him all the best in isolation, like a, a few people. So trust you're enjoying a good game of Hills footy to uh, get you through the afternoon and the uh, the isolation. This is a good game of footy as we uh, settle into a bit of a break here on the call yep. of the wild. It's Mount Lofty 5-6, we'll leading uh, Raiders 5-5. So we'll be back in about uh, five to ten minutes for what... 
possibly will be an exciting second half. So catch you then.
And welcome back in to Call of the Wild this afternoon uh, coming to you from uh, Aztec Oval and Bridgewater the Hills Football League match of the round. And what a very good contest we have. Half time Bridgewater Callington Raiders 5-5. Five, five. Mount Lofty Devils 5-6 as the uh, team's getting ready to come back onto the ground. And of course, once again, a big thank you to all our uh, sponsors, our media sponsors, Filming Footy, Sports Interactive and Dartfish. Hills Football League sponsors Police Credit Union at West and at Sports Power Sharon, the Courier newspaper Rossdale Homes and Closey's Supermarkets and of course our match day sponsors for each uh, particular club uh, Bridgewater Fraser Gardens, Hillgrove Resources, Aztec Developments, Bridgewater Inn, Bridgewater Mill and Harris Real Estate through uh, Super Sales Lady Tamara and the Mount Lofty sponsors for today House Inspect Australia, 24 Fit Australian Paving Centre and LCS Maintenance and uh, of course we thank them uh, very much for their support which enables us to bring you the live stream of uh, Hills Football action and of course people sitting home today as we said Goldie a few people yep. in isolation have certainly got a pretty entertaining contest to uh, take in the second half here as I said one point ball game 5-5 five, five to 5-6 five, uh, I think you've got a few there yep. to go around the grounds. Ben? A few comments. Uh, oh, no, yeah, I've got one. Uh, Iron Bank 5-7 leading Kersbrook 5-1 at half time. Ah, good comeback there. I've got, got a few more coming up. Jane J. Hill, he's got some stats that matter. He, even though he's at home, he's still doing ah, the well. stats for this game. In the first quarter, Mount Lofty's score of 23 was their third equal highest first quarter score against Bridgewater and their highest against them since round 10, 2011. Unbelievable stuff. Um, Bridgewater's halftime score of 35 <laughs> is their highest halftime score against Mount Lofty since round 10, 2013. Okay. Has he got the stat there, Benny, of how many pies he's eaten this afternoon? I'll get to that. That's coming up. <laughs> Bridgewater's score of 26 in the second quarter was their equal highest against Mount Lofty since 2010. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Jane J. Hill delivering the goods on the stats. Uh, I just uh, don't know if the vision's up here yet, Benny, but uh, if you cast onto the uh, centre of the ground here, uh, would he be a concerned coach just walking across it? A thoughtful coach at the moment. Uh, Should we ask Michael him? Michael Borden? Does he want to have a chat? Imagine oh, that. Probably Does not. He? He's got a few things on his mind. Get him to pop up here to the, uh, the new super trailer. Coach Borden is coming over to this area. Maybe going to join us for the second half and <laughs> coach from here. Special comments. Maybe he might want us to give him a bit of advice. No, I think he's doing a pretty good job at this moment. Of course, uh, tracing his first win for the season. Is that his assistant, Bruce Lennon? Could well be. Yes. Uh, and, of course, his uh, counterpart, the playing coach of the Raiders, Sammy Miles, looking for his first win of the season. So a vital game here for both sides to open their account for the uh, 2022 season so uh, oh he's coaching from underneath the uh, well the the yeah if it was near to say oh they're the gazebo the gazebo he's coaching from yes, the gazebo those who know the gazebo on the wing area here at Aztec Oval yep so um, yeah oh well coaches go in different uh, areas ground level tree level gazebo level So, players just getting readiness here now. Shit, it's ringing. What do I do? Just hang up. Oh, it's been like five minutes. Oh, it's been like five minutes. So, I must say the shadow is just drifting across here a little bit. Almost half the ground now encompassed with the shadows. The cliff and still with sunlight, but uh, still a pretty pleasant day for football down here at Bridgewater. A bit of a slight breeze as uh, all the players are ready to go. Goldie, you're ready to go. I'm ready to go. Gay, the uh, She's stats about lady's ready to go, but got the one thing missing, mate. <laughs> the umpires. They needed a big tip pep talk. Yeah, so come on. Here's our, here's our dog of the day. Just tell us about your dog. What breed? What breed? Aussie Shepherd. Could be our dog of the day here. All right. He's even got the number three duffel coat on there. Oh, hasn't got his Guernsey on. 
because Catherine Houlihan joining us there. And it's nice that the umpires have joined us. Is there a little bit of... Yeah, uh, what's going on over here? The boundary umpire, the goal umpires? Uh, yeah, are they... Coach Borden's in position over are here. Are they debating the, the scores or... No? Uh, the going on? Okay. Perhaps the timekeepers usually blow a siren to show that they're coming back on the ground. I don't know, Goldie, but it, that's... Uh, it's, well, we can discuss that on the this huddle. The first, uh, the award-winning first. sports show during the week on eighty-eight point nine FM. Well, they're quickly out into position. Yes, can't start a game without an umpire. All right, they're finally here, Glenn Godfrey and uh, Brendan Sirsch. having a chat there to John McDonald. Uh, perhaps John's asking uh, half time at. Blackwood, Blackwood 6-4, Achunga 3-4. Did you say that already? No. Okay. Yeah. All right, just waiting for the goal umpire to <laughs> unfurl his flags. Uh, so, finally we're underway for the second Smooth half. Smooth transition. Mount Lofty, <laughs> leading by a point. They're underway. Chimmer gets a knockdown. Racing through his wigs, barrels over his opponent there in Hooper once again. That's probably how they started the game. So they're starting the second half. Similar theme. So once again, the umpire will ball it up here. Call the wall comes from Aztec Oval. Trust you enjoy on filming footy. Ball comes down there. Taken there was Bennett Wood held up in a tackle. So once again, the umpire for his third ball up in uh, would have had 30 seconds of play. So Jimmy just barrels his opponent out the way. Ball comes down once again. Scrappy play trying to clear it. Locked in there trying to barrel his way through was uh, Johnny McDonald. And uh, well... For something different, the umpire will ball it up. So, uh, scrambly start to the second half of football here. As I said, both sides and oh, off the ball there, perhaps a little bit of a, yeah, ace and the wind knocked out of him. As ball comes back here, bursting through with Smith. Ball taken here by the Raiders out wide. Bouncing ball, well gathered there. Handball back, oh, clever elusive action. Got back here to McDonald on the left. Goes long towards centre half for the target here is McMurtry keeps his feet but coming through is Ash Eckerman who bundles the ball over the boundary line for the Devils and uh, just a short circuit set first forward entry by the Raiders in the second half so as we said 5-5 five, five plays 5-6 five, here Hills Football League Division 1 round 3 action throw in short McMurtry doing the ruck work stolen by Carmody very good in the first half Nurses one up the wing but intercepted here for the Raiders they go long but a bit of a mung kick sways off the side Gathered here by Drew, I think it is. He's got two devils to contend with there as he's barreled into the ground. And the umpire will once again ball now, up. Just a reminder, filming footy YouTube. Call of the Wild Facebook page and uh, Hills Football League Facebook page is where you can stream today's game. And uh, one point in the margin, hang on to your uh, hats. It's going to be an exciting second half coming up. So, so just uh, trying to look if any major changes the sides have made during half time, Benny. But it appears there ought to be the not too many uh, changes in a one point game if they ain't broke wide. Try and fix it because they're pretty even at the moment. So mm -hmm. toe tapped along the line. Here's a chance. Here in front was Max Borden, right in front of the timekeeper's scoreboard box, and looks like a uh, free kick to go the way of the Raiders. Maybe Coach Borden is on the walkie-talkie. They could be. Meanwhile, Crows 63, lead the uh, Doggies 62. A final score. Final score, so the Crows have got up by a point. So if you're a Crows supporter, you'd be pretty happy. Meanwhile, McDonald works the ball close to the line under pressure there from Josh Cox. And we'll have a throw in just along from Coach Borden, as uh, Benny Goldfinch called in the... Uh, the bit of where's, where, where's Wally? Where's Boards? Well, I spotted him. He's yeah, under the gazebo. In the gazebo, Goldie, next to the... Boundary, Autumn leaves. Boundary throw in. Chima wins it down to Amiet, Amiet, Amiento. Amiento. And lovely to have a chat with Mrs. Amiento during the uh, the break. Yeah, she must be pleased with her son. A couple of goals in the first half. Ball comes down here. Taken away there by Bauer, but only as far as the veteran and Smith. He, Waste no time. Yeah. Right foot goes out wide. He's got a player out there. Finds him. The Raiders. Coming back in the centre. No, he goes back on the right along the boundary line. Mm. Oh, and a good mark taken out there also for the Raiders. Oh, oh mother. Disposal. Over the line. So a bit of a let off there for the Raiders. Uh, 
it's interesting to see players stand there and actually ask the umpire what's going on. But uh, like uh, Borden there putting his hand out, was that dissent? No. <laughs> so chance here for the Raiders. Well, there you go. There Raiders. you go. So it uh, says Dodson, but I'm not think it's Ben Dodson. But uh, no, I don't think so. Goal opening goal of the half goes to the Raiders. So very important, and uh, importantly, they have seized the lead by five points here, Benny. Yes. Four, four and a half minutes into the second term. Six, five plays, five, six. Game on. Five points the margin in the Raiders' favour. Back in the middle. Chima versus Roland. They've been going head-to-head -head all day. Umpire throws it up. Ball hits the deck. Kick forward by Mount Lofty. Through Bauer, I think it was. Breyer is under pump. Mildy got a handle away, but it's turnover. Smith for the Raiders. Kicks the ball Ooh. past the interchange bent from out lofty. Good mark there. Taken by Will Sherman. Yep. With the flowing black locks. Looking for runners. Goes to Eckerman. He's usually a good user from these positions. And that's why pistols. I've seen him kick. <laughs> oh, damn it. I thought he was going to kick that. You've seen him kick goals. Oh, gee. <laughs> that's all we're going to say. Bit unfortunate there. Did everything but uh, clear the woodwork, uh, Benny. Even nice the, call, but... Uh, even the scoreboard attendant was ready to put a goal up there. Let's hit the post. This yes. beautiful new post here at uh, Aztec Oval in Bridgewater. We love efficient scoreboard attendants, that's for sure. So Johnny McDonald to bring the ball back in. Goal to the Raiders are behind two Devils in this second half so far. So Jackson Hooper, Mark, halfback flank area in the shadows. Kicks it long towards half forward. Lumbering out, it was Drew. Taken here by Borden. Coughed up. Good work there by uh, Thompson. Peterson sweeping handball back out to Bauer. Oh, good smother there on the kick on Bennett Wood. The Raiders in here. Comes a big roll. Oh, big man. Oh, oh, oh. It's gone. Oh, God. Yes, move like sticking plaster when he was tackled. The big man, so coughed it up. So Bauer. Yep, Bauer with the ball on the wing. All dangerous. Gonzalez was right on top of him. Out towards uh, intended target there, but it's punched out of bounds by Johnny McDonald, and we'll have a boundary throw in. The intended target there was uh, Cumbie, was it? In no, the that's the uh, junkyard dog, uh, Bow, and also pretty good in the uh, post-match uh, activity. Collins, so in fact, Mole Collins was the target. Oh, here he is, Collins. Extracts the ball away from the Milty. contest, kick into the pocket, or oh, Mildy was the target, but a good mark there by... Uh, is that Grieve? Could be Grieve, yeah, Dougal Grieve. He kicks the ball outside of oh! 50. McMurtry, I think, great mark. takes the mark. Thought about giving the hands off, then goes to kick further afield. Oh, oh that's a great oh! mark. That is a very good mark taken by the junkyard dog in Bauer. Yeah. They said former Payman, Payman boy. Runner up best and fairest last year. Sends the ball back once it came over the top of Rollins. Ball hits the deck. Miles goes in. Dispossessed. Ball held in under. So, uh, Bit of a struggle here, seven and a half minutes gone, third term. Five, seven plays, six, five in favour of the Raiders. Ball up, Roland reaches over the top, gets the ball down. McDonald grabbed the ball, taking the ground under a tackle from Aish, I think it is. So once again, the umpire will come and ball it up. Mm. Five, seven to six, five. Eight minutes gone in the third term. Chima won it down, straight down the throw to Johnny Mack. Briars, Miles, his Bauer, got it to Alex Week. Short pass inside, 50. Mildy was the target, but the fellow number 13 there in uh, Harrison Bailey punches the ball out of bounds just in front of the well reasonably packed grandstand shed, green shed area, barbecue cooking area. So ball spills free, hands and knees stuffed there from Harry Weeks. Ball held in there, Carmody. Also in the front line, as you'd expect. Our umpire comes in and uh, will ball it up. So tough in the trenches at the moment. Anzac round, why not? Ball comes out here. Clearing kick. Go on. Smith Ooh, dispossessed. Lucky. Managed to hack that forward. Was the Raiders intercepted there by Archer. Borden goes out wide. Mildy to target again once number 13. Raiders mop up. Loose wing out here. Oh, taken there by Thompson. Thompson gets the ball <laughs> forward. Better mark taken back there by Dougal. Greg is doing some pretty good work against I know. I think it's Mildy's ball. Mildy's ball. 
So Mildy? Don't think. So Connor Mildy, yet to get on a goal kicking list, has uh, came into the competition leader, equal leader in the this round with eight goals. Kicked twenty nine last season to finish their best goal kicker. So a chance here for Mildy. Thought he had a goal earlier on. Now uh, let's see if this celebration is, Yes, matches is, the result. He got Goldie. the point before oh he stabbed it. That, oh there we go. Look at the double cobra lumping about. Get, oh, yeah, there's yes, the celebration. He loves the goal. Got into Benny O. Let him know about it. And Mount Lofty are back in front now. Six seven to six five and we've gone ten minutes in the third term. Yep, so both sides building on opportunities of uh, turnovers from the opposition, errors. So uh, I suggest the side that makes the less errors, uh, Goldie, from now on, will win this game. But it's a very good game of footy, and especially on the tight confines here at Bridgewater well, Oval. Last thing you want to be Norton 3, Absolutely. 1 and 2, you're back on track. Absolutely. Everything so. to play for. As Chima goes against Big Rollins in Ruck, extracting the ball there. Trying to, I'm just trying to work out who's got it. Meantime, Hooper got it on. Kick forward for the Raiders. One on one contest. Umpire says it's a free kick. Peterson Peterson earns it. He goes to Bauer. Junkyard Dog kicks the ball forward. Oh. High flying oh. Weeks also there over the top. Winwood. Winwood. A couple of high flyers. Miles dives in as you'd expect. Holds the ball inside a defensive 50 there for the Raiders. They almost plucked that Marco the back there. Winwood. Great leap from the side, but just couldn't control the ball. So danger territory here for the Raiders. Ball up. Fist there forward by Rollins. First to get there, be Bow. He's everywhere oh, so far. Oh, he's, he's strong right. the, very strongly to the ground. It's okay. But um, I said it's okay, so we'll have a ball up. Yeah, so. he did that all right. Didn't swing his head to the ground. No. So just inside the forward 50 arc, Rollins over the top, got it down here. Weeks is Harry Weeks is kicked with Smothered. He follows up, though, as you expect. Once again, held up. So, once again, the Ruckman. Cox. Rollins. Held up there. Bennett Wood. So uh, not much movement at the moment. It's pretty uh, tough at close quarters here, Goldie. Trying to get the ball clear. Raiders. Oh. Ball comes out. Here's Bauer around the corner. An ugly bung looking kick, but uh, well taken back there by Bryce. Uh, the wool variety. Yep. With the orange boots on. Gives the hair a bit of a perm before he uh, moves the ball on. Kicks the ball past the interchange bench. Or good mark there. We've got Dodson, but it doesn't look like Dodson. It's one of the younger players in this Raiders lineup. A few changes over the last few weeks for Bridgewater Callington. Meantime, kick past the interchange bench where Room Gulfoy was standing before. Of course, he's not playing today. And uh, I think the majority of the season yeah, with a leg injury. Unfortunate, unfortunately. So. Key versatile big man in this uh, Raiders lineup. So, the umpire board up just around from the scoreboard. 6 7, Devil. 6 5, Raiders. Good game of footy here on the court. Well, I trust you're enjoying it. Gonzalez getting involved there. Weeks is there. Well, Hooper nearly bundled into the interchange box there as the ball goes out over the boundary line. So we'll have a throw in. So up by uh, Scott Madsen, of course, over there, barking instructions. Of course, yeah, former Mount Lofty coach here. now assisting with Miles. Here's a bouncy ball. Here's Houlihan. Will of the Wisp. He runs into trouble this time. Dispossessed. Ball cut spills free. Hack forward there by Mount Lofty. Two, uh, two Raiders. Oh, Connor. Healy, uh, sorry, Mildy takes uh, advantage, got it forward, but Bailey intercepted, and out here taken by Ween Sandico. So Jack Sandico, half back flank area in the sleeves, probably to keep him warm in the shade. Decides to go backwards, finds Smith, the veteran, this Ooh. way, that way. Can he break clear? Yes, he can, and delivers the ball nicely to Rollins in the centre of the ground. Yeah, confident play. Rollins gets the ball on. Prize, I think. Amiento. Get them mixed up, both orange boots. Armiento, yes. That's it. Similar hairstyles, too. He's, how many goals has he kicked? Pistols, two. Armiento has kicked two. Orange boots. Talented recruit. That's obvious for the Raiders from outside 50. And passionate mum. And he has uh, gone through for a minor score there. Meantime, Devil's keen to move it on quickly. Pedersen. Pedersen got the ball... 
Peterson got the ball from Thompson. Kick towards the half-forward line for Mount Lofty. Ball off hands. Cleverly slapping the ball on there was Bennett Wood. Centre-half forward area for Mount Lofty. Umpire has called a free kick, and it's going the Raiders' way. Yeah, Dougal, Dougal, Dougal Grief. Grief. Just nurses the bite. The line I'll put Houlihan under tons of pressure. Taken here by Cox. Gets it back here, but to meanwhile, free has been paid, and it's going to go to uh, Zach DeWitt. Of course, basketball background. So, DeWitt. He'll send it long towards the teeth of goal. Raiders big territory back there. Oh, I tell Hello. you what. The umpire, goal umpire has nodded there, so that is a goal. Yep. Connor Mildy, I think it is. Looks like it. He's up and about with the celebration. So Connor Mildy reading that ball off the back. Raises his first goal, second goal of the quarter, second goal of the game, so the Devils. Answering the challenge here. As I move to 7-7 seven, seven to 6-6. Six, six, so back to a seven-point ball game, Goldie. 15 minutes gone, third term. And uh, great anticipation there by Mildy. Went over the top of the tall timber for the Raiders and he was lurking and uh, through. So back in the centre. Chimmer, big leap. Here's Sandico using his pace. Gathers the ball. Wobbles the left foot backwards towards DeWitt. Ball comes to ground. Ah, oh, Crashing over the top there was Peterson. Got the boy out of the teammate. In turn, comes back here to Eckerman. The former Magpie goes bang towards the forward. Here's Mildy Territory again over the back. Got his hands to it. Waiting, lurking. Here's a chance for Mildy. Oh, and great work there by uh, Smith, the veteran. Just conceded the behind. And, uh, uh, got a few comments coming in here. Uh, Jordan Ingram says, into him, Benny O. So it's uh, <laughs> been a love, bit of love oh, for Benny love O. For Benny. Uh, yeah. Now, Jason Wren. Thanks very much, Jason. He says, number 14 is Taryn Sanderson. Thank you. All right, we've worked that out. And number two is Tyler Borneman. Ah, yeah, the other guy. Yep, yeah, young Borneman. Right, thank you very much there. We're to back on track. Jason Wren. It helps when they supply the team list too. But anyway, we'll battle on the call of the wild. Just as the Raiders are at the moment through the little master, the coach puts it up high, kick towards the wing area. Big Chima goes to ground. Tame by Peterson goes backwards. Look at the Thompson. Thompson with a, yeah, it's almost a bow lookalike. Gets the ball forward. Here's that man, Ace. Oh, well, oh, look at the left. Well, it's almost the no. goal of the day. Could be the behind of the day. They're starting to press here. What uh, a great effort. Will Miller says Raider Park looks like looks so good you could eat your dinner on it off it. Well, I don't know about that, Will. Uh, I don't know about your dining habits, mate. But uh, we'll leave that one with you. So ball spills here. The hula hand flashes through the centre on the left. Goes long. Here's a chance here for Wakefield. Caught behind. Tries to get the front. Oh, desperate work here from the Devils. Peterson Volv gets that. Eckerman finally comes back. Eckerman will sit for him. Thompson assists with the body ship. It comes out here. Tempted shot there by Sanderson. That's it, Taryn Sanderson. Bad offline through for a minor score. So 2-3, the Devils this quarter, 1-2 to the Raiders. Good game of footy here. Trust you're enjoying it here on the call of the wild. Well, now that we know it's Ra Sanderson, he's uh, still a Raiders under 18, made his A-grade debut against your Raider in round two and impressed with four goals. He's set for big things. Well, we've noticed that today. He's got a fair mop of hair as well. Oh. Meantime, great mark there by Do Dougal Grieve. Because former Devil oh, umpire says that's oh, 50. Yeah. Wow, that's uh, Dave Bennett yeah, yeah. racing now, out. Who's he going for? Dave Bennett oh, racing. He's a Raiders runner. He's a Raiders runner as he races out around yeah. the players. He was clapping. Used to him going from out long. Yeah, well, uh, Dave, of course, one of the uh, part of the, uh, well, what would you say, the ex Devil contingent? You've got the Scott Madsen. Dave Bennett, of course, Sammy Miles, and a few extra players out there. So, Dougal Grieve, important kick here. Oh. The goal umpire has the sun in his eyes. And uh, signals it? that it's soft for a minor score. So oh, he got to kick them. Yes, indeed. Big kick, that one. So what is it now? Seven points to margin. 6-8 to 7-9 as we head towards the 19-minute mark. Ball's come down the uh, into the car park area. Eckerman will bring the ball in. As we said, multiple premiership player at Handorf this year. Now in the devil's defence. Short park pass to Damon Peterson. Senior Colts coach from Mount Lofty. He's getting the uh, vocal work here on the sidelines for teammates. He goes further afield. Chambers to target. Oh! Jeez, crash bang. Yeah, Winwood again getting clean. Miles with the uh, spill. And that's gone 
just uh, off someone's foot there, and it's gone out of bounds. I think it's gone off Angus Woodward's uh, foot, and it'll be a boundary thrown just in front of us here in the broadcasting uh, position. Of course, Filming Footy, check it out on YouTube or uh, Call of the Wild or the Hills Football League Facebook page for all the live stream today. So, ball comes out here. Oh, good attack on the ball was uh, Sherman. Come through like a Sherman tank. Gave Winwood. it to his teammate there in Winwood, who caressed oh. it nicely into now, the green shed pocket. Now, he loves position, doesn't and he? Mildy, and you can suggest the Raiders uh, members of the crowd there will be just giving him a little bit of advice. But uh, Connor Mildy, the best way to uh, repay their thanks, well, thank their uh, support, would be uh, converting here. It's going to be a difficult shot, but uh, well, kick the two goals of the quarter for the Devils. As we said, he loves his celebrations. If he kicks one from here, this could be one of the best. He's going to curl it back, Goldie. He's going to go for the traditional drop punt. This. He's going to try and... It's not, wow! I tell you what, Gee, that's a very good point he's got. He loves the celebrations no matter what it is. It's great. Well, I don't mind that. Keep on thinking. It looked to me like it was uh, going across the face, but uh, you never know with umpires. But umpire Chris Tanner there right on the spot. So Johnny McDonald to bring the ball back in for the Raiders. He'll go long with that left foot as he does out towards the wing area. Pat Gavers off hands out the back there. Stolen comes to Eckham and he bangs it back towards centre forward. High Pat five. Gavis, big loop. Oh, big defensive spoil by Smith at the back of the pack. Ball comes to ground. Comes back here. Fed. Weaming his way Reed. through there was Reed. Spots up a teammate there. And Will Sherman. Yep. Just a reminder, Bridgewater sponsors today, Fraser Gardens, Hillgrove Resources, Aztec Developments, Bridgewater Inn, Bridgewater Mill, and Harris Real Estate with Tamara. We'll get them out lofty spent, sponsors spent shortly. Spent some tires, North Adelaide under 18 ranks, uh, Benny. So Will Sherman here. Very nice mullet. Happening There's too. A few of them out there. Lays back on the kick. I mean, over the top of the where's post. Where's that gone? Into so a the tree. Devils here. From right 2-5. They've kicked for the term to 1-3. So perhaps might be ruining their uh, opportunities here uh, at the end of the game. But at the moment they've stretched the lead 7-10 to 6-8. 7-11. Sorry it is. As the scoreboard changes. Right. Johnny Mack goes a short pass. Low worm burner. Finds a teammate there. We need... Uh, Jason Red to tell us who 24 is. <laughs> Left boot out this towards is coming the out boundary us. line. We'll get a stat. Is it going to be a mark on the boundary line? Green Last touched touch. it. Yeah. Off hands. Of course, uh, Mount Lofty sponsors House Inspect Australia, 24 Fit, Australian Paving Centre and LCS Maintenance. We've got a boundary throw in at the 22-minute mark. 6-8 the Raiders, 7-11 Mount Lofty. Game on. Houlihan. Handball out towards Johnny Mack. Look to get on that left boot. Wheels around on it. Kick towards the half-forward line. Nice oh. work by Eckerman. Oh. Tried to get it to Archer Board and Maxie he ends Wakefield. up tackling Maxi Wakefield and we've got a stoppage half forward line for the Raiders. Yeah, just a little bit of a fumble there. And uh, able Wakefield to uh, hold the ball in the area for the Raiders. So inside their 50, uh, well, 45 metre arc. Ball up. Chima gets the ball down. Leading the race of the ball. The Devils keep it in. Go long. Up here, Winwood getting involved. Oh, clean ball there was Cox. Ball feeds out here towards Smith, bouncing ball in the centre of the ground. Here's a Raider in certain, a lot of trouble Holding in the pitch area. Yes, wrapped up there. So the resultant free kick will go to Mount Lofty. I think it's DeWitt. So DeWitt, cricket pitch area. High kick. Mildy territory. Cavalry arrives. Off heads. Mildy there lurking. And actually taken by Bryars, who actually uh, kicks to touch. And concedes a behind. Devils appealing for, uh, well, deliberate. Uh, Elliot Daniels is 24. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. We appreciate the input of our uh, loyal watchers. Yep. On Call of the Wild and Hills Football League Facebook pages and also Filming Footy YouTube. Hang on to your hats. going to be a classic final quarter coming up. So ball out wide. That's a very good grab out there. Raiders move it on. Gonzalez playing up the field. Bouncing ball finds its way to Houlihan. Find the handball. Then gives it back to Speedy. High kick a wedge shot out here. Yep. And finds the youngster Sanderson. in Sanderson. So Sanderson with the ball. Half back, half forward flank wing area. What's on offer? Decides to go long. Target there. Oh, Speedy. Gonzalez, he's everywhere. Goes to ground. Crashing his way through his wakefield. Scrubs a kick forward, but walked over the line there by... Peterson, so we'll have a throw in. 7 12, Mount Lofty, Raiders 6 8, 23 and a half minutes gone. Call the wall. Yep. 
Uh, probably a couple more minutes left. If that, Chima brings it down to ground level. Sanderson's uh, around the action. And it'll be a stoppage situation inside 50 for the Raiders. They'd be very happy if they get a goal from this situation. Head into uh, the final break, just trailing under a goal. Chima won it out. Oh, Carmody. Gee, that's out of bounds. Yep. Uh, Academy boy Academy right boy. on the spot, Benny. Yep. Academy of boys today, Max and Jake Matheson. Max has got T two T's. Jake's got one T. Of course, Bruce Marston and Chris Tanner, the goal umpires and the, the main officiating umpires. Brenton Zurch and Glenn Godfrey. Actually, so, I think as we discussed on the huddle, Goldie, the Academy boys do a lot better job summer circumstances than the AFL guys. Comes well, to Peterson. Absolutely. He slapped up and managed to toe poke it forward. Oh, clean ball there was Bryce. Goes back, was taken high. Okay, yes, the umpire. Chance. It's Dave Bennett again. Uh, How's the kick? Dave Bennett spending more time in the centre than he normally does when he bats. Downfield free kick. I thought it was against Dave Bennett, but no, of course no. not. He's just, he wants to be out there. Yeah. I saw him uh, I saw him in round one, actually, Dave, against Harndorf, and he was right out there quite a lot. He is. Now, here's the man. Man for all occasions. Jack Weens at Sandy Co. Yep. Chance to kick his first goal in his return to the Raiders. So, uh, Weens, this will be very important. He's no. not even on my player profile no. list. Is that Why important? would he be? But I tell you what, he'll write one for you after he's kicked that. Sandico splitting the middle. Cometh the moment. Yeah. Cometh the man. Well, we won't go that far, but it's a goal to Weens. <laughs> <laughs> so, very good guy. 7 8 to 7 12 now. That's a 7 to Devils Rue, having kicked two goals, six Benny. And now the Raiders have kicked two, three from their, their opportunity. So, a couple of dogs on the Heisen Trail in the background. Just keen to watch the second, last quarter. Four points the margin. 7-8 to 7-12. As we head towards three-quarter time. Four points the margin. 26 minutes gone. Free kick. Yeah, Raiders free way. Kick. Gonzales. Coach Borden will not be happy. It's gone to Miles. Can yep. he... Uh, one kick here, and they're going to be inside 50, are they? Well, he goes out towards Wayne. Wayne, the man of the moment. Oh, oh. I tell you, he's the man of the moment. I'll tell you what we're looking for here. Tommy Miller would be just salivating. We could have the uh, the Wayne's O'Donnell show. All good. Yep. So, here we go. So, Ruck to Sanderson. Give it away to Chima. Chima. Clearance from Mount Lofty. Back here, Bryce. Stuck out the Duke. It didn't stick. Rollins. Good work by Roland. Obviously, kick behind Rollins. the play. Smith bangs Smith, it back sorry. along the wing. Back to Chima. The big man got his hands to it. As the Whoa. siren sounds. Siren sounds. So we're right in the mix here for what's going to be a barnstorming last quarter. 7 8 to 7 12. So four point margin here in favour of the Raiders as we turn for home and what's been a very good game of footy here on the HFL live call of the wild coming to you on filming footy so the Raiders just getting as a group in the centre of the ground and obviously they're just uh, saying boys we're in touch here we can do this Chasing those vital premiership points. As I said, both sides seeking a win here. Four-point margin. Now, if I recall, Benny, last year in the uh, Courier Cup game up here, uh, the Devils actually led by eight points at three-quarter time. And in the final turn, the Raiders kicked six goals to two points to end up getting a 28-point victory. So... Is history about to repeat itself? So we'll have to wait and see here on the call of the wild. Trust you're enjoying our coverage, as I said, coming through the assistance of our great sponsors, Filming Footy, Sports Interactive and Darkfish, uh, Hills Football League sponsors, Police Credit Union, West End, Sports Power, Sharon, The Courier Newspaper, Rossdale Homes and Closey Supermarkets and, of course, the Match Day Club supporters, for Bridgewater, we have Fraser Gardens. What a magnificent uh, advertisement is the work that Andy Fraser's done out there on the uh, pristine Aztec Oval surface at the moment. So Fraser Gardens, if you make your oval look good, just imagine what it'll do to your garden, your rose 
bushes. Hillgrove Resources, Aztec Developments, Bridgewater in Bridgewater Mill and the Harris Real Estate through Tamara, the super agent. And of course, about Lofty sponsors today, House Inspect Australia, 24 Fit Australian Paving Centre, Damo Hone and the, two, and the team, and yep. LCS Maintenance. And uh, we thank them and all the sponsors for their support today and throughout the season. And uh, trust you're enjoying a, a good fix of... Uh, Hills footy, Goldie. I'll just see if there's any more messages coming through on the uh, Hills Football League Facebook page and also Call of the Wild Facebook page. All right. Here we go. We do. Dog of the day. Okay. Sarah Will Miller. Pat. What's that? A little bit. Sorry, Goldie. A bit of a Scottish Terry down here. I suppose. That looks like. Uh, that looks like. Uh, Harry McCarry is Yoda in a different. Yoda, way. yes, yes. Uh, one of our good friends. Okay, Will Miller says, "Weens, no stranger in front of goal." Well, could this be the man to win the game for the Raiders? Rory Welsh says, "Is that Travis Cloak's glove?" Of course, Weens <laughs> is wearing a glove out there. It could be Michael Jackson's gold. Kim Holmes says, "Over with grass, it's a miracle." <laughs> and Jim Heathersay says, "Jungle Cat." Ah, well, a lot of love in the room for... Uh, Wayne's? Wayne's? Yeah, absolutely. Well, he's set for a big last quarter. Well, we hope so. As we said, perhaps the, uh, the missing link is to get Benny O'Donnell. <laughs> Swing him forward. Imagine that. The Bond and the Wayne's show. Well... Wow. We only bring you the best here on Call of the Wild, as you know, so that might be something to look forward to. Once again, Coach Borden making his way over to the... Uh, He's just having a quiet word to Jack Reed here. Well, as I said, history uh, is it the Twilight Zone. I said Devils led by eight points last year in the same game, round three, and then uh, Raiders stormed home with six goals to two points to win by 28 points. So Devils four points up at this uh, occasion. So, yeah, next 30 minutes of footy. Coach Borden wants to stay out there. Yeah, it? next 30 minutes. Uh, strap yourself in, go get yourself a coffee or a, a coldie. They get set for what's going to be a great game of footy to uh, wind out the day. Uh, just some more stats from yes, Jaden. Yes, they matter. Bridgewater's best quarter is the third quarter as they average their highest quarter score in the third term with 19.5 overall and 21.8 at Bridgewater. Um, so that's interesting. Mount Lofty's best quarter score average overall is the third quarter with an average score of 20.2. This is between both sides. Their best quarter scorer average at Bridgewater is in the fourth quarter with an average quarter score of 22.4. There you go. Jane J. Hill with some stats that matter. Okay, we're underway. Final term, call to wall. Devils with the nose in front by four points. Ball comes down. Take by Hooper. Very first clearance. He goes in favours. The Raiders are oh, a bit of good back turn work there by the Raiders. Comes back here. Handball out here. We'll end with uh, young Borman. But in the meantime, uh, a hit off the uh, the ball. That's the young lad again. Yeah, we need uh, Jason Wren, who's number 25. 25. <laughs> and then we've got the full And then we've house. got the lot. We'll leave you alone. 25. He's the cop this year today. He's had more hits today than Elvis. But he's uh, got to his feet again. But he just looks a little bit sore this time. So John McDonald, the experienced man out there, of course, past male medalist. Premiership skipper will take the... Uh, okay, a couple of comments coming in here. Yep. Will Miller says, clear the 50 and leave Benny O to come one out. And Jordan Ingram says, if B Bridgewater was serious, they'd send Benny O forward, snags for the day. So that's the call, is to send Benny O'Donnell one out into the forward well, line. Well, that's coming line. from two of the most learned men in Bridgewater football circles, I can tell you. Yeah. Thousands of appearances between them. Meanwhile, uh, what's going on here? There's a bit of... Dave, Dave Bennett. Bennett getting involved. <laughs> he loves getting out in the centre. And an interchange wants to come on. There's confusion reigning here. It's all happening here on the court while filming footy. Maybe Dave wants to know if he's allowed to play. Yeah, it looks like Maxie Wakefield. Dave wants to know what ends he's got to bowl from. <laughs> so <laughs> Maxie Wakefield is the replacement player who's come on. Meantime, Blackwood, oh, Blackwood 10-9, leading a Chunga 6-9. What's going on? It's just like, Are we gonna, is this descent? Is this descent, Goldie? <laughs> He's throwing his hands up there. Coach Borden might be called out. Oh, no. Rock, paper, scissors might have to be decided so, this. 
Wayne Wayne's. Seneca, now Wayne, he's, he's the got, arbitrator. He's got the black glove on, he'll be able to sort this out. And they get it. Oh. oh, have they lost the ball, have they? Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny Max won't have a shot. <laughs> is there a count? There is a count, perhaps. Is that what they're calling for? A play count? Yes, that's what I can only work wow. out. Wow, what going on. the scenario, Pistols? Who's that Raider bloke? He's jumped in the creek. There's another one got a raincoat on in the, in the crowd. What's the what is going on? This is sensational, ladies and gentlemen. Coming to your live here on Filming What would, What would have happened? What's the well, scenario? They nulled the score. The score is annulled. Up to that point, if it's found they have too many players on the ground. So... Where's Jaden Jay? We need the stats man to count him. So the young fellow, when he went down... Are they fine? Well, there you go. And that's, uh, well... Just a little bit of uh, extra rivalry. That is another <laughs> three minutes out of your life you'll never get back here on the call in a while. But, uh, Someone wanted to have a drink. i uh, tell you what, Ben and Mayor, Johnny Mack, uh, he's probably got uh, cobwebs over his room. Meantime, that. Johnny there. Mack to put the Raiders in front. And he's got a benefit of a goal square kick, Johnny Mac. After Does that mean that. he's going to get another shot? So why was he advanced from there? Is that because it was a false challenge? Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, the bottom line is they went all all on all on red pistols. <laughs> That's right. Didn't come off. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll put it down at the three minute mark. Although it might be the first sixty seconds as the clock has stopped. Raiders get the opening goal. So anyone who's watching the game, if you can give Got your no thoughts idea on what, what happened then. just happened, where's Miller, <laughs> Miller and Ingram? They're the learned men. All Let I us know, know is Wayne set that one up. And now what's going on? Now he's right. No one knows what's going on here. Oh, there's <laughs> a, a yellow, yellow card. card. For what? A yellow card. What is happening here? Alex, Alex Weeks, Weeks has, got a, yellow card. has got a yellow card. Is that card. incorrectly calling a count? <laughs> <laughs> can he be penalised for calling the count? Oh, I don't know. This is a sensation here. Coach Borden, where's he I'll going? This will go into memorable archives on the call of the wild. So, say so three minutes in, Alex Weeks has been dispatched to the boundary. What for? No one we knows. We don't know. But anyway, the game's back to football, if you can call that. So, back in the centre, Rollins gets the ball down. Hooper at ground level, wrapped up by Ace, still in the centre circle. Right, oh, so uh, the oh, that the score is 8 8 to 7 12. Yes. That yellow card from out lofty, so they've got a player off. Two Raiders in ball. the box seat. Two point ball game. Back in the middle. Raiders will be looking to push, but here's uh, Aish, meantime, kick into the pocket. Mildy! Here's the celebration, King. Well, I'll tell you what, he needs to get one in. He's getting a bit of advice in front of the faithful up on the cliff, cliff face pocket. Okay, how many has he kicked today? Uh, two in that last quarter. So Loves the goal. We've already seen that. He also ten, loves the point. Ten for the year. Yeah, he loves the point. Righto. Volleyball background as well, Pistols? That yes. Right? Because yeah, it's a bit of cricket, representative cricketer. Oh, you don't celebrate that one. That's gone across the face. Oh, oh well, maybe you do because it's parked there by Harry Weeks. That was a great pass to Harry Weeks. It's Milton okay. Tia. He's left footer, isn't he? Yep. He has kicked three for the season so far, Goldie. And uh, 24 he, last year. He was some favourite for the male medal last year, didn't uh, Looks like he's going to check He's going to snap this for a goal. Well, there you go. What an eventful couple of minutes. <laughs> it's got it all. Got it all. <laughs> <laughs> As Squizzy Bryce says, that's why they call it Spark Park. It's all happening down here. All okay. lining up. Player count, yellow card, and the goal from Mount Lofty. Sensational stuff. Four points the margin now, Mount Lofty's way. So seesawing start, which would be a bonus for Mount Lofty, considering, as I said last year, they coughed up six goals in the last quarter without reply. So uh, even Stephen here, 8-12 to 8-8. Crowd getting involved here. So back in the centre, the Devils, a man down, don't forget. So under a bit of duress. So in the middle, Chima gets the ball down. Stolen by Hooper, wrapped up by Carmody. No infringement, said the umpire on that occasion. So umpire Zeus, gee, they've had their hands full today, the, the numbers game. <laughs> As the ball comes down to McDonald. Oh! It's Maribel Rodeo stuff. It's just bull riding him there was Carmody. Will Miller says, this is the edge of your seat kind of stuff. The only thing that can make this any better is seeing Benny O slot a snag. <laughs> After the siren, no doubt. Comes out here, that's a, uh, is that a chicken arm tackle goal? Right, i tell you what, Mount Lofty, uh, would. Lo Mount Lofty with the player down, starting to get things going. Oh, Benny O! Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, no, I was... Grief. Grief, sorry. It's his protégé. <laughs> protégé. Benny O's protégé. Floating across there. I thought it was Benny O. I just got him in the psyche at the moment with all the text <laughs> coming through about how how he should go forward. Maybe he's... Getting going. excited, Benny. Meantime, here we go. Kick out towards... Oh, Speedy, what's he doing? Allows the ball to yeah, go to... Uh, Bailey. Bailey, and it's punched out of bounds. So, stoppage situation. Favouring 
Mount Lofty scoring in. Chima ready to go head-to-head -head against Rollins once again. Full points to the margin. Mount Lofty back in front. Hooper feeds out to Johnny McDonald. Gets a quick left footer away. Queens coming oh. down here, taking the ball. Steaming to his Nick Thompson. Tomo goes straight down towards the guts, towards the goals. Oh. Put his hand up as Weeks. Desperate second secondhand. Here's a chance around the corner. Snap there. Oh. Angus Winwood. Good goalkeeper extraordinaire oh. sort of stuff. He was at full pelt with that. Full uh, stretch with that save. That was great. So good Managed work, to get man. a hand to that. So Johnny McDonald with the designated kicking duties. Just shades his eyes from the sun. Afternoon sun here in the autumn. Pleasant Saturday afternoon autumn in Bridgewater. Puts the ball back out. Target out here. Comes to ground. Taken by Bauer. He's hemmed in by the boundary line. Trying to help him out there was Jack Reed. He's held up by Hooper. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. So plenty to play for here. Five-point ball game. Devils 8-13. 8-8. Call the wall filming footy. We've got a beauty here from the Adelaide Hills. Oh, yeah, comes down to Hooper. Yep. Grabbed out of our possession there, I think. Yes, it's the umpire. The free kick will go to the running male medalist. Oh, it's 25 oh, as well. 25. So umpire's decision's becoming very pivotal here, Goldie. Not to scent, just... <laughs> Don't think he gave the ball back to him properly. Hooper, meantime, is Benny O down there? That's the question. Ooh. Well, he goes a short Ooh. pass to the little master who caught one there from Eckerman. And this is right within his range, obviously. Yeah, so Miles, he just, he, nothing he'd like more than to uh, kick this goal against his former club. As we said, six-time record holder, best and fairest, with Brad Birch at the Mount Lofty Devils. Saw Birch before. Now in charge of the... Uh, Second year is playing coach down here with the Raiders. So He's getting a bit of heckling from the wing here. Yeah. How they change, Goldie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he loves yeah, it. He does have the, the double, oh, double, double copy of the words, the commentary of the box. <laughs> Sensational. So the Raiders back in front pistols. One point in the margin. Absolutely. Yeah, it's nine minutes gone, but I suggest it's probably about six or seven due to the uh, the numbers game here, Golden. God knows what happened in that period. Which doesn't add up, I don't know. But anyway, uh, Dave Benedict, they're barking instructions. <laughs> He's had more runs today than he made all high last season, Dave. He heads back. So, back in the centre, he said, what a ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Nine, eight plates, eight, 13 here. Aztec Park coming alight, sparking up. Chima versus Rollins, the big men. Dueling in the shadows now. Up they go. Rollins, great tap down. McDonald fumbles. Good enough to get out of it. High left foot kick out wide. Races on. DeWitt gets there first, but bundled across the boundary line for the Devils at the interchange gate area. Uh, next to scenic Cox Creek here, Goldie. That's That's been flooded a few times. Yes. A few, yes. Tommy Maslin and all of the Same gang the, used to uh, enjoy swimming Vic in that. Jones Memorial Kayak race on occasion. Boundary throw in. Dangerous position. Ball comes out. Raiders repeat forward entry through Gonzalez. Who's lurking? Oh, uh... Ooh, going to ground there. It's a push out. Free kick. Raiders way. And I reckon it's our man, Pistols, who we've been calling as Darcy Joseph. I think it's Jamie Drew. Yeah, it's Jamie Drew. Yeah, with the tap. With the tap. Ran a tap. Yep. Of course, spent some time playing for Mount Lofty, and of course, his father, Graham, played for Heathfield Allgate United before coming down here to the Raiders. Dave Bennett out there again. Well, he's another Raiders junior product, as you said. Father, son to Graham. Explosive speed and great overhead. Goal kicking can be wayward at times, but capable of some real magic. So, we got him down for one previously. Well, it's not the best Ooh, kick, it's and it's gone away. for a minor score. Oh. And the crowd getting... Yeah. <laughs> you see the crowd... And here the crowd really getting involved in this now. High stakes here. As Goldie said, you'd be zipping three or uh, one and two at the end of this game. So, high kick from Eckerman. The former Magpie puts it up. Big lead oh. the back. Well, it's Weeks. Couldn't quite control it. Ball comes to ground. Meanwhile, the whistle is gone. And looks like it's going to be a Raiders free kick for the agency of Hooper, who's played yep. another very good game, the young man, this afternoon. Yep. He's going to kick the ball inside 50. Who's down there? Well, pack. Oh, over the top was Thompson. And uh, it's held up. I think that's Carmody. So stoppage just, uh, situation. Half, uh, well, about 30 metres out from goal for the Raiders. Pressing. 9-9 to 8-13. 
You can expect a little, quite a bit of this over the next few minutes. 12 minutes gone. I noticed uh, Coach Borden and, and his assistant have a couple of Raiders supporters now standing right <laughs> near him, so I'm sure they'd appreciate that. Meantime, kick outside the uh, defensive 50 bird by Mount Lofty. One kick by Max Borden. Oh, Mildy oh. tried to take the mark. That was Bailey. good work there by Bailey. Mm. Great work from the Raiders defender. On the left boot, out there was the wing. Oh, floating back, great uh, chest mark. Running back Harry with Weeks. the flight by Harry Weeks, vice-captain. It's raining best and fairest. His first year last year won the inaugural Coventry Doors renamed medal. Puts it back from where it's come. Here's the big man Rollins just camped on it. One grab, two grab. Oh, he's paid it. Yeah, the umpire's paid it. Might have been a hand in there, but I think Rollins did enough. As McDonald sneaks away here, but... Uh, oh, the big on. man, where's he going? Plenty of agility okay. from the big man as he puts it across here and Smith. finds the veteran Smith. Smith up the wing area. Oh, oh great grab taken there by Dougal Grieve. Okay, here we He's go. He's got a run around here in Sandico. Could this be the moment? Getting back there to Devils is a chance. Oh, I thought Weens was lurking there. Thought he was too. The Devils defence just rush it through there. Big fly there was from Will Jordans. And uh, Weens just He's lurking, hovering. lurking. Eckerman to bring the ball in. The Raiders leading 9-10 to 8-13. What's that three-point margin? Correct. Good maths. Eckerman. Scott Creek College. Kicks the ball out towards the broadcasting wing. Bryce went up. Rollins. Oh, the big man tried to get the ball out to Bryce. He got it on to Johnny Max. Centre-half forward sort of kick. Oh, oh good oh, mark. Maxfield. Maxie. Maxie Wakefield. Kick inside 50. Wings. Oh, <laughs> here the moment. Here is the moment. Is Miller, to, oh, Ingram, he's sitting on the edge of their seats. Has he, he's taken the glove off. He's taken the glove off, he has. Is it down the shorts? Yeah, at the front. <laughs> oh, so, Jack Sandico. Wow, come at the a moment. Yes, a step his authority. You take it through us, Goldie. Well, we're right behind him. It's a bit of a laconic sort of approach, and why not? It's brilliant, that's what it is. Straight through the middle. And that's a handy break now for the Raiders. They go to 10-10. Mount Lofty, 8-13. 3-2 to 1-1 one, one at this Wait. stage. I uh, reckon there's about 14 minutes gone. As we said, we had the interruption with the count. So, as Benny Goldfin said, a handy break here. 10-10 to 8-13. Trust you enjoying coverage. Hills football game of the day here on the call with the wild. And thank you to uh, Filming Footy, Sports Interactive and Dartfish. Mm. for their support. So the ball being retrieved here by the Academy boys. Still plenty of time here for the Devils. On the short ground, virtually one kick out of the centre into the goal square. So pl plenty of time here for the Devils if they're good enough. The, ga the ground almost bathed now completely in shadows. A couple of messages. Will Miller says, Ween's lurking in the shadows. And Jord <laughs> Jordan <laughs> Ingram says, Quinton Lynch throw the glove. <laughs> there we go. Ball taken away by... Weeks dispossessed. Big Chima crashes through. Good work by the big man. His opposite number is over the top of him in Rollins. So once again, the umpire will come and ball up. Still in the centre circle. Yeah, Weens is directing traffic in that forward line. Just pointing. I think you're right. Just hiding in the it, shadows. He's just telling where he wants to lead here. Get the ball out of this. He's right in the mix. Meantime, who's down there for uh, the Could Raiders? Could we have uh, Weens's paddock? Goldie. Well, that's what he looks like he's wanting. It looks like he he's needs a pushing paddock. Some play <laughs> he's pushing some players uh, away from Good him. Good paddock. Here's Chima. Oh, interesting. Disposal. Tried to get the ball out. Oh, straight Ooh. doll sort of stuff. Sherman. Sherman got the ball out. Opens oh, it up. Oh, Look at the pace from oh. the Greyhound sort of stuff. No, holding the ball, though. It's nice chase down line. by Johnny Mack. It's basketball. He's used to bouncing it. Johnny Mack kicks the ball over Ooh. the head of Hooper's head. He'll go and collect it. One more here will be interesting for the Raiders. Speedy tries to get what? it out to Weens. He snaps the ball out towards Bryars. Oh, oh here's Bryars. High ball. Inside 50. Is Benny O down there? No, he's not. Oh, the no. The oh, oh, touched. Touched. Hey, a lot of whistles being blown. Touched. No, it's a free it's kick. Oh, he... Maybe it's in danger. Did the uh, no decision? Have they gone upstairs, Goldie? I don't know. So no score results. I don't so know. I'm not sure. The, the scores box had already uh, thought about, but still remains 10-13 to 10. Sorry, 10-10 to 8-13. 10-11. I think they've added a point. It didn't count. No score counted there. Alex Weeks still off the ground with the yellow card. Keen to get him back out there. Absolutely. When you're a man down, be keen to get anyone down. So meanwhile... 
What are we going? The action in, is... We've got another player count, have we? No. With DeWitt, I think it is, right in, the, in front of the Devils coaching uh, box. Looks like he's got the result. And, uh, All right, here we kick. go. So, back here. He'll chip it across to Eckerman. So, the former hard-off premiership player. He's got another man out here, Ooh. Thompson, but he goes short and finds Borden. Borden runs around. The man on the mark now goes bang down the centre. Looking for a target here. Coming out and taking it as Carmody. It's a Carmody. holding on. Raiders. Yep. Ah, oh, reversed. Oh, right. I'd see the body language there from Ace. AFL, that'd be in the goal square by now. Descent? Yeah, absolutely. Meanwhile, what is going on here? I'm not sure. It's a blood rule, I think it is, on uh, Drew. Umpire indicated blood rule. So it's all happening here. There's runners, trainers. Dave Bennett. Everyone's out there. Dave's Kid. out there still. Kids running on the oval. <laughs> it's all happening here. Meanwhile, the ball is back here. Half back area, look, the umpire. He's having not. a good discussion with Sherman there. <laughs> All right, here we go. So Bryce takes the ball. So that does be content to play possession football here. Chips it in the middle here. Oh! oh Carmody. Still got the socks up. So right in the centre circle in the ground here. Streaming pass was a teammate. Gives it back here to Peterson. Gets a handball across the board. And goes long. They need a mark here from Milton. He's got two to beat. Oh, holding his ground well with Bryce. Umpire then uh, appealing for a free kick. It's all happening here at Spark Park. As we've played 18 minutes. Still anyone's game. 10-11 plays 8-13. Yeah. Deep in Mount Lofty's forward line. Free kick. Advantage. Play on. Goal. Okay. I think it's Carmody. Was yeah, it? I think it's Carmody. They all... Clapping him and uh, saluting him. So, well, there you go. We'll give it to Carmody. That's a goal. Nine thirteen. The Raiders ten eleven. Yep. Adjust that. Yep. And if anything changes, we'll adjust it as well. There you go. Well, nineteen minutes gone. Here we are. They're all getting sheep doggers out there, mustering them. This is John Yetz, uh, erstwhile drink runner, has been for many years. Dave Bennett right. racing off the oval out of the centre square. Uh -huh. It's all happening here, Goldie. 10, 11, 9, 13. It's all coming well, to you. Uh, back. Alex Weeks is back on the ground. So, Chima gets the knockdown. Taken here. Devils work the ball forward. I think it was Winwood coming to meet it. Oh, good attack on the ball. Taken by the Raiders. Feed the ball out back here. Taken by Bryce. Sends it forward. Oh, good body work there. Defensive mark taken for the Devils. So, the Devils. What's on offer? Nurses the ball up the line to Alex Week back on. Taking that defensive mark there, Goldie, of course, was uh, Will Jordans. Yep. So Alex Week to skip it back in after a, a period in the sin bin. Puts it forward. Defensive ball by the Raiders. Here's Miles taking the ball. Worked right. off the ball. Sherman. Around the corner by the tank. Sherman puts it forward, but only as far as the veteran Smith. Of course, Norm Smith in that memorable premiership in 2016, Goldie. Yep. He goes a short pass. Hooper. Drives the ball along the wing with one step. That's last touch. So the Mount Lofty players will have an opportunity to reload here near the scoreboard. 10-11, the Raiders. Mount Lofty, 9-13. 21 minutes gone. Probably five minutes left in this one. Oh, good smother. Here's a chance for the Raiders on oh. the counter-attack through Weens. X-Factor in this final term. Wakefield. Max Wakefield tries to uh, slap it off the ground. Is that going to be Young holding Sanderson. the ball? Young Sanderson. Yes, it is. Here's a chance for Mount oh. Lofty on the counter-attack. Oh, gee whiz. Comedy of errors there in the middle of up. the ground. Oh. Good work. Jamison Bauer got it to Chima. Eckerman, one step. High ball inside 50. Over oh. the top. That's a mark. H no, not paid. H H H H play on. Goal. He is. Well called, Benny Goldfitch. Thank you very much. Harry Weeks, he's second for the corner. The Devs. Have seized the lead again. 10 13 to 10 11. What is officially a right. ring a ding ding here? Just watching Coach Borden. He's uh, oh, edgy of seat sort of stuff there under the um, gazebo, gazebo with assistant coach Bruce Lennon. So it's two points to margin now. So three goals apiece this final term. Devils. Just their nose in front. Scoreboard attendant. Not knowing what's going on, we have to get uh, Gorgeous Gay to go over and sort them out. 10-13 plays 10-11. Two-point ball game in favour of the Devils. Uh, so we just clicked over the 20 minutes, but it uh, could be a bit lesser because of that uh, the count situation. Chima hacks the ball forward. Direction taken there by Miles Collins, who's held up in a tackle 
by Bryce. So once again, the umpire will ball up. So Chima, Rollins, it's a done all afternoon. Ball comes down, bursting his way through as McDonald. He runs into a couple of Devils players. Ball taken there. A few comments coming in. Tyson Hone says, was that Jungle Cat 99? Jordan Ingram says, get Weens out of Benny O's 50. Will Miller says, that's the fastest Johnny Mack has moved in years. And Tyson Hone says, Harry Weeks, ball on the string. Meanwhile, Bauer hacks it forward on the lead here. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, great. And here's the man who perhaps could turn this game. He's already kicked two of the three scored. Harry Weeks, what a champion he is. As said, reigning best and first at Mount Lofty. Pembroke yes. product. And certainly made his uh, niche last year in the uh, Hills football competition. As, uh, played ben, SA under 18s yep, a few it's years ago. Set, uh, represented the Hills Football League up at uh, Karunda. So... Dangerous as a key forward. Here we are. He kicks from some 40, 45 metres towards the cliff end. Crowd and suspense here. Sam Hill style. Staggered approach. Goes bang. He's hooked it, judging by the reaction. Mm. Three for a minor score, but good enough to extend the lead. Sheepdog makes his way off the ground. So 10-14 to 10-11. Devils, three-point buffer. Johnny McDonald quickly brings a low rake. Oh! Oh, Weeks bounces off his chest. Is that a team mark? Working hard was no. ace. Weeks gave it back out there to Eckerman. Eckerman gives it to DeWitt. Goes long, but offline. I tell you what, if uh, Matt Lofty are to fall here, they might ruse a couple of these missed chances. But at the moment, they're in the box seat, holding a four-point margin, but on a, such a small ground, anything can change. McDonald will be hoping for a better kick in this time. He'll go longer, which he does, towards the scoreboard. Bailey's the target, bundled out of it. Ball comes to ground, stacks on the mill, running scrum there, and umpire will come in and ball up. 10-15, 10-11. 24-minute mark, four points the margin. Only probably a couple of minutes left in this one. You'd feel... How many goals have we had in this quarter so far, Pistol? Six goals, three apiece. Here's a chance for Briars. Kicks the ball towards Ween's territory. Good defensive spoil. Here's a chance for the Raiders. High kick forward Wakefield. up in the air by Wakefield. That Thompson. Me? Thompson takes the mark. Happy to just uh, take a few uh, seconds off the clock. Absolutely. So Thompson with the ball right in front of Mount Lofty's uh, Coaching staff, except, except Coach Borden and his assistant, who are over this side of the ground. Here's a chance for Miles. Is that a free kick? Not paid. So Weeks, making his presence, felt back on the ground. Good tackle applied to his former teammate there in Miles. So once again, the big men will go at it. 10-15, 10-11, four-point margin favour of Mount Lofty. Chasing their first win in this uh, down here, I think in about eight, nine years. Bearing in mind they lost the uh, return game last year, so it uh, been a while since they'd played down at the uh, well, Bridgewater Oval. Well, I've got a stat for that. Yeah, if there's a stat there. Meanwhile, hack forward, high kick was Wakefield, getting under it once again. The Devils, oh, great tackle applied miles there. That was through the agency of Will Jordans. Oh, clean bowl there was Bauer. Good Ooh. enough to get back on it. Watch oh, out. Bit of a don't argue. Got Ooh. the ball backwards. Oh, they could cough it up. Here's great second effort there once again by Bauer. Close to the boundary line. Uh, the last time our lofty beaten Bridgewater at Bridgewater was round one, 2013, when Julia Gillard was Prime Minister. That was according to JJ I thought you Hill. say Julia Gillard tossed the coin. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe so, that happened as well. Ball in. Chima. Hurlihan takes down the right. Can't get his boot to ball. Goes to ground. Desperate handball there, hoping to clear it, but uh, Whoa, Raiders, yeah. Drew's involved there. Good, strong tackle, so dangerous territory here. Goldie about 40 metres out from the Raiders' oh, goal front. Goodness gracious, Chima just punches it out towards the boundary line. Gonzalez picks it up, does he? Well, tries to anyway, and it'll be a boundary throw-in at the 26-minute mark. Four points the margin. Mm. Ball on the edge of the 50 area, or edge of the um, forward attacking arc anyway for the Raiders. Wayne Sandico. Two on one, deep in the forward 50 if a ball comes out here from the stoppage as Eckerman is wrapped up in a tackle. So, ball up. Fans here just locked with interest. No one's left the ground. Why would you? A great game of country footy. Comes to Alex Weeks. High kick gets out of danger here for the time being. Front of the Kofi, taken by Big Rollins. Oh. Handballs it to Bryars. He gets upended. Ball spills three. Oh, bow. Great attack on the ball. Taken high there, will take the ball. Did he try to handball that on? No, said the umpire. So, Jackson Bauer, the junkyard dog, nurses it forward. Here's a chance there. 
Mildy over the back. Well, it's set for the Oh, Mildy! There's a chance for Mildy! Mildy. Go for Corey, the soft son. And there Mildy. Connor Mildy, his third goal for the game, could effectively have sealed the game here. But still plenty of time. 11 15 plays, 10 11. And once again, Bauer just showing his toughness to win that ball, win the free kick. And Mildy, opportunist once again out the back of the pack, Goldie. Yep, lovely goal. And could that be the knockout blow at the 28 minute mark? 11 15 to 10 11. Mount Lofty. We've had it all in this final term. Player count, yellow card. <laughs> Yes, uh, Matt Lofty has seemed to have the answers at the moment. Oh, here's a, maybe another I thought he's going turn. to ping him for running off. Johnny Mack will get the ball here and thump the ball long, strong, inside 50. Who's down there? Oh! oh, oh, oh. Drew! Great, Mark. Got to go back quick and kick it. Wow. This game will not go away. So, Drew. Already kicked one. This is the most important the game. He, he loves it. it. For a goal. So. It could be another. Uh, still life left yep. in this game. Never say never. As Sean Kennery once said, I think. Connery. Yep. Yep. Okay, a few more comments. Can I squeeze them in? Um, so, four-point ball game while Goldie sorts out the uh, social yeah, media. Keep it coming. Tell us what you think. Tyson Hone says three votes for Harry Weeks. Will yep. Goombler says ne need Grieve to stand up here. Who's been the better Weeks today, Pistols? Tom, Todd Zamper wondering. 11-15, <laughs> 11-11, Zamper. a four-point ball game. Probably uh, Harry. Oh, I tell you what. Here's a chance here. Sanderson comes back here to Hooper. Oh, <laughs> kick under pressure. Where's Towards Wayne? the top of the square. Oh, better push and shove. Over the top there. Taking a timely Great, mark. It's Peterson. And against Damo Peterson, he'll come across. Oh! oh! Coughed up, but it's gone through for a... That's oh, a free kick. It's oh, a no. free kick over the mark, oh, I no. think. So no score. Kevin Stevens enjoying the commentary. Big Kev. Good to hear from you, Kev. So Damo Peterson will take all the time in the world as he has advanced for over the mark. Connor Mildy enjoying his work. Will Miller, Benny O Sorry, needed Jordan's, more game time. My apologies, he gets it out to Eckerman. A man who knows how to milk the time. Premiership footballer three times. Nurses is up the wing. So the Devils. Alex Weeks. I think uh, Harry Weeks probably has him uh, shaded this afternoon. Iron Bank 11-11 defeating Kersbrook 6-4. It was a vital 10 minutes that Alex uh, missed out on possessions. So, drives it forward. Well, that's the current score anyway. Big push over the back, trying to nurse it very nicely. There was Bennett Wood, drives the ball forward, a clean ball. Back in the box. Chance. Racing head. There it is. That'll do. That'll do, Pig. That will do. Yep. Is that Sherman? Will Sherman. I was going to say blonde flying locks, but he dies it. But the a black flying. Tommy Alvin style. Goldie, perhaps, yeah, Carlton. or even uh, Gary Ayres back in the day. But Well, Will Sherman and uh, Mount Lofty Jr. returned to the club after playing under-18s at North Adelaide. Hard-running wingman with a real stylish type of mullet. Defends hard and breaks lines at pace when he has the football. And I think he's kicked the match winner there yep. for the Devils. They so five 12, goals to four in the last 12, quarter. Back they go. 11, 11. Chima, here's Alex Weeks. Handball's out wide. Comes back here to a teammate. Kick with Smothers Ward, trip the chop man. Working hard still as McDonald goes to the ground. Also putting his body in there was young uh, Borderman. Ball held in there, but you think the Devils have done enough now. 12 15 to 11 11. So 10 point margin in favour of the red and white, the candy stripers. Will they go home with the chockies? Looking pretty set at the moment. So um, a pretty long quarter here, as we said, Goldie. Could the, yep. uh, the count? Did we get the Nance score? No, we haven't. Well, half time it was Nan leading 3 6 to your aid, like 1 10. Meantime, okay. this could be the last yeah, Ace. few kicks of the game. Ace kicks the ball forward. Carmody almost. almost took a great overhead mark. Does well to lock the ball inside the attacking well, forward region. So Raider down behind the play here. Is that big roll? I think it might be the big man. Yeah, looks like about size 17 boots. The heels towards us. He's not too good. 31 minutes expired of uh, game time. Weens comes over for Ball a bit of taken help. here, threading his way through nicely. There was Collins. Got it to do a teammate. Oh, got it, Alex Weeks. Like 
And not good here for the big man Rollins. Let's hope everything's all right here. And the umpire has stopped the game, Goldie. So the plot hasn't finished yet. More twists than a Hitchcock thriller this uh, game here this afternoon. Big Rollins. He caught one in the lower Yeah, I region. think he might, uh, yeah. I think the it's upper, the, lower stomach? Yeah, or? I think it's the lower stomach region. Yeah, the lower stomach. Abdomen. Yeah. Yeah. He's breathing in a big one, so the play will resume. The big man. He's a big man, isn't he? He is a massive man. Big man, big shorts. Big country. Looks like he's uh, going to wait for him to go off the, the ground. No. <laughs> Just another bit of suspense. As even the uh, the trail walkers. Uh, yeah, no, someone's had a bit of a stop on the uh, trail. Just... So, ball comes out here. Good tackle applied by Hooper. Ball out here. Struggling to tackle was DeWitt. Quick hands there. Somehow to get out his ace. Got his boot to it. Forward. And here lurking is Angus Winwood. So you would suggest that this could be uh, the sealer once again. It's the Mount Lofty Candy Stripe Brigade. Uh, breathe a little easier. So Angus Winwood. Mount Lofty Jr., fast leading forward, as we see there. And he'll kick after the side, and the result's already and there. And he kicks the goal. He's kicked the goal just to seal it. It'll end at 13-15 to 11-11. So Mount Lofty. the Devils. It's a Devils chant goes up here. So entertaining game of football. Trust you've enjoyed it. First win here at Bridgewater since 2013. Yep. So just quickly, Goldie, because we have to wrap up. Uh, just your thoughts on the game. Well, Pistols, what do we have that in that final quarter? That was, uh, had it all, really summarised the game. Yep, six, six goals, goals to four. To Ten four. goals in the last quarter. Yep. We had a yellow card, we had a player count, we had it all. Uh, uh, great game of football. Yeah, fantastic. So, well done to both teams. And Mount Lofty break their duck for the season with a uh, pretty good win in the end. I'll just see if I've got any final uh, more comments 16, coming. 16 points. 16 yep. point margin. Just give devils. me one more minute. I'll just see if I've got any final comments. Yep. So after leading great... goal kickers, we got leading goal kicker on the ground. Uh, well, Weeks got two. Mildy got three. Ace got a couple for the Devils. Uh, Sandico bobbed up with two. Believe it or not, Jack. Miles two, and Armiento uh, got two for the Devils. And Drew got two, so yeah, a few multiple goal scorers out there to say. Well, Henry Pope some, uh, rounds it off with the ultimate team man with the sealer, Angus Winwood. There you go. And yep. Scott Taylor happy with Shermanator. So, yep, good win there for the Devils, kick-starting their season with a win. Fantastic. All right, that wraps us up here. Call the World Stream. Trust you enjoy it. Once again, we've got to thank our media sponsors, Filming Footy, Sports Interactive, Dartfish, HFL sponsors, Police Credit Union, West End, Sports Power, Sharon, The Courier Newspaper, Rossdale Homes and Closey Supermarkets, and the Club Match Day sponsors for the Raiders, Fraser Gardens, Hillgrove Resources, Aztec Developments, Bridgewater Inn, Bridgewater Mill and Harris Real Estate, and, of course, for Mount Lofty, House Inspect Australia, 24 Fit and LCS Maintenance. And we've got to thank our erstwhile cameraman this afternoon, James Davis, for bringing you the great uh, vision behind the camera. And also we've got to thank the uh, the gorgeous Gay for her work in the scoreboard here this afternoon. Technical And uh, Blackwood beating a chunga by two goals. All right, thanks to you, Goldie. Once again, a great call, mate. And we look yep. forward to doing it all again next week when, once again, we'll bring you on the call of the wall the Hills Footy League match of the round so until we talk again this is pistols signing up keep kicking your goals see ya